What's going on, people? Troops TV. Back again. Back our blood clock again, you understand? Episode 252 of Back Again. Make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. You understand? Big up everybody already inside the building. We got everybody that's liked the thing already. If you haven't, make sure you like the blood clot thing. You understand? Before I big up the man, them and them thing there, let me just big up Boohoo Man one time, blood. You understand? If you want to get your Boohoo Man drip on, you know the vibe. Hit the link in the description, blood. All eyes on me. You understand? When Fine. really and truly, this. This is the Black Hussam blood. You understand? This is Hussam <laughs> right now. All, all eyes on Hussam. You understand? <laughs> Yo, Tell me, blood. Tell me, Yo, Tell me, Hussam, my brother. If you want, if you want this one here, blood, yeah, ten percent blood. You understand? Ten percent off. You get me? Put the code troops in. You understand? When you get to the checkout, boom, bang, bang. Boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. I don't deny it. I'm ashamed. We got boo blood. You get me? Oi. We got the band them blood. You understand? My brother Lewis, flawless, who's some. You know the vibes every week, you know, so we're there. Lewis, you are on the top row, blood. You understand? <laughs> Melrose living. Certain men are just there, stressed. You get me? Don't even want to look at the camera. Man's <laughs> 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 just looking down, blood, pause. <laughs> Donnie's just sitting there like... Like, he, like man just got sent out of the classroom and he's in the head teacher's office. And man's just there waiting for the... He's waiting for his mum and dad to pull up. And he's like, I'm going to get blood. Love oh, day. my days, blood. Love day. Love day. Oh, my days. But, Lewis, you're happy. You get me? I'm happy. Nice little win for you. How you feeling, broski? Yeah, man, it was, it's been a calm week. I don't know the last time I've ever had that feeling, but it is, it is good to have just a comfortable week where there's not too much to stress about. We did make it a little bit difficult at the start, but hey, clean sheets at home. Just happy to see them. Happy to see more GNA for my guy, Nicholas Jackson and Cole Palmer. We all speak on the disappointing, disgraceful result I saw at Anfield after everything that was hyped up to us over the week. But it is good to be back and it's good to be on the top row again. Big, big up to everybody. And, and up the Chels. And shout out to you, Lewis, because you mentioned clean sheets, man. Clean sheet gang. You know what I'm saying? Clean sheet gang. We all got clean sheets. Let's gang. go. Let's go. This is one positive, Sam. See, there you go. Yeah, You're included, man. Yeah, you got a clean exactly, sheet. See? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're included, man. You know what I'm saying? Clean sheet gang. You understand? But... You get me? We'll, we'll talk on that, though. You understand? <laughs> Flawless. We were told 4-0 minimum. We were told Salah hat-trick. We were yeah. told 7-0. Mm -hmm. But nil-nil, blood. You understand? Look at him giving giving Flawless a nice intro. Look at you. You're such a fraud, <laughs> Bruce. Why not, <laughs> blood? Hey, hey, hey I'm I'm Mr. Mr. I was going to get a 6-0. I lie? It's all, right. all about right. I'm disappointed right. in you. Usually he starts alive for one day. This flawless, one day. Day. You know, this flawless fraud, blah, blah, blah. But we helped, you know what it is, Fasal? Like, we, oh, we helped him out. We helped him out this week. That's what it's done. Yeah, and you exactly. let me down. You exactly. let me down. You we know, have, the blood of crypting when they just stood together for that one time. <laughs> that one time That's it, Brad. One yeah, time. And what does he do after yeah. the one time he lets me down? Lets me down. Now I've got to rely on Villa. Big up Villa. Yeah, Shout out Villa. Yeah, yeah. Big up, big up Villa, man. Yeah, yeah. Big up Villa. You get me your, your nice blood pause, you understand? Yeah, like, yeah, I could, I could, obviously we'll discuss it further in detail in regards to the game. But yeah, like, finally my team shown up, you know what I'm saying? And was competitive. I did the basics in a big game, in a big moment, and <laughs> adversity didn't fold. I couldn't believe my eyes. Like, I'm, I'm still in shock. 
You know what I'm this happened on Sunday. It's all over 24 hours later, pretty much. Well, over 24 hours, and I'm still in shock at what I see from them individuals out there and us as a team. But yeah, man, I'm blessed. I'm all good. Big up the chat as well. Apologies on the lateness. That is on me, people. But yeah, man, large up everyone that's tapped in. You um, Yeah, look, he's ready, black. <laughs> <laughs> So disappointed. <laughs> Juice were waiting for this. You were waiting for this. You were waiting for this. You better Six hope nil. you win next week, bro. Honestly. I'm hosting next week's back You better again. hope you win next week. You wait, are correct. Just wait. Just better wait. Hope. Because I've actually been pro Arsenal this season, but this guy being fraudulent today. Always you will pro see. Arsenal. You. you will see. You will see. I dare you don't collect three points at Anfield. I dare you. I dare you. Nil-nil against Manchester United at home. Yes. We were told six-nil hat-tricks. We were told Saboslai must shoot on sight. I don't even know if Saboslai had a fucking shot, blood. You get me? Um, My Jordan brother, how are you feeling, blood? Pause. Uh, Somersly did shoot. The ball landed in Goodison. Uh, anyway. <laughs> what, the new one or the, or, 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 or the one? We <laughs> 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 got the Back Again podcast audience as well in the chat. Make sure guys are running the likes up as well. Like the video. Make sure guys are subscribing. I know I'm going to get cooked today and I deserve it because of what I said pre-game. But I just want to publicly state something right here, right now. What I said pre-game has nothing to do with the performance on the pitch. Don't blame me. I'm not Nunez. I'm not Diaz. I'm not Soboslai. I'm not any of these guys. <laughs> Don't blame me. I had, I had fuck all to do with the result, Habibi. So leave me alone. You get me? We can cuss out. We can cuss Liverpool together for that performance. I had this phone charged ready. I was going to fly to Cuba tomorrow, but I'm like, Khalas, let me just face the music. You know, I'm still in second place at least. So, yeah, it is what it is, man. Long day. Long week for me to be fair. Until we play Arsenal, then it might be a long month after that if we don't win that game. So, yeah. Before we get into the disgraceful, shambolic, embarrassing Liverpool performance, we've got some super chats to get through, Will, real quickly. We got Lee Burnell, we got troops and the man, them especially flawless. You understand? Big up, man. Big up. Why especially flawless? Hold that, Lee. Be it must be a Man United fan, isn't it? Yo, it's because what? Because I'm yo, because I'm a genuinely what nice guy. Why is it so hard to believe? Yo, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah you're, you're a nice guy. guy. Full I'm the Pope. Street, blood. Full yeah, street, you're a nice street, guy. Street, I'm the Pope since we're lying. I'm about always nice who's lying, black. Like, ain't no nice guy. Don't, don't lie to the British I'm, public. I, I'm not lying to the public. You know what I'm saying? As you can see, the public like me. That's for a reason. That's why I said it's especially me. When I said you're not a nice guy, he knows I'm telling the truth. No, it's because you lot loves you know what you lot love slandering my good name for no reason whatsoever. Character. No, you're, good. you're good, this app. <laughs> you're good. Yeah, man. You're good, blood. Appreciate it. Trust me. Big up Rex Heap. He says, Big up you guys. Love the content. Appreciate you, Broski. You know what I'm saying? Lee Bernal again. Hussam, Arsenal are coming for your Clark Rude boy. You understand? I don't know if he's an Arsenal fan or a Man United fan now, blood. Big up Jack. <laughs> he's just, he, yeah, that one he just, just spun me, blood. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's probably, that, an, <laughs> probably an Arsenal fan. He just, he just. He might be an Arsenal fan, but yeah. Man United did us a favor still. So yeah, yeah, it could be that. yeah. I think he, I think he probably is. And, an and just to fan. clarify, in the first super chat, he did big us all up. You know what I'm saying yeah. it wasn't just me. He just said yeah. especially flawless. That happened more, to be yeah. his favorite of the quartet. That's okay. You're some people's favorite, Hassan. You know what I'm saying that's all it is. Everyone has their favorite member of the group. I, I just happen to be his. Listen, you, I have no problem. I have no problem with people having you as their favorite. Many people love to watch this because because of all four of us. You get me. Thanks. All I'm saying is you ain't you ain't no nice guy. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't run that arc. <laughs> that arc is a lie. Don't lie to the public who watch this stream week in week out. Don't lie. I'm a nice guy. No, you're not. You're an <laughs> asshole. Own it. No, Don't two lie. things can be true. You know what I'm saying? I'm an asshole at times, yes, but I'm also a nice so what, guy. You're a nice asshole, pause. Bulky, pause, but yes, like, pause. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Both can be true as one. Ah. Jack, big up Jack. To some, where the wind's at against the big clubs and forget home and forget home or away. Damn, we beat Villa 3-0 at home. Hold that. 
Are we counting Villa now, yeah? I like, look, he's just, he's proper trying yeah, to shoot one not Villa City? into this. I mean, I know, I'm asking the question, so are Villa counted in that, yeah? Villa are a massive club. Back. Okay. All right. All right. So if you're above City, well, they you're have Champions Leagues. That's, that's fair. They have Champions yeah. Leagues. Oh, Big up my brother Abdi every time to speak on the Pyramid Pepe and the Cocaina Quadrado. <laughs> That last one is wild. That's crazy. Oh, that's Mercy. <laughs> he sent it just <laughs> early, blood. Bet my kidney he supports Chelsea right now. Yeah, at least Chelsea. I hope so. Proper Chelsea. Nah, you know why? Chelsea. It's inferiority complex to Mo Salah. That's it. Any bad game. Directly on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you who uses any loss to say um, Kaiseido fucked up. Sure. <laughs> yeah, but he did fuck up because you're 10th. I'm second. Yeah, yeah. The story ain't over, bro. We might end up with more trophies than you by the end of the season. Who knows? No, you won't. No, you won't. Hey, one Carabao Cup. If we put that on the table, hey, I'm just I'll be shameless all season. season. I'll run that, with that. That's what Flawless was running with. We did that last we season. Yeah, I'm saying. We would have yeah, got man. Go, we'll take the keys. I'm here. Hey, hey trust. We got Memphis Depay. Uh, man said six is the only number we haven't given them. How about buy a six first? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Also, what DM? Is. You like these super chat chill. You like these super chat. Chill. I don't even know what the six says. What is the six? Someone translate. A DM. <laughs> a DM drop. <laughs> oh. I don't even oh. know what it is. I don't even know what it is. No, I thought that's like. Uh, <laughs> no, I thought that's like a British thing, like for like a car or something. <laughs> nah, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Hey, it is what it says. Hey, I'm having a bad day, man. Oh my days! It's a bad day. It's a bad day. It's a sad day. Hey, big up Hamad. This is gonna be wild. Already could tell. Football. This is <laughs> no, no, look, we haven't started yet. It's fucking face, man. Yo, Hamad. Big up for the super chat. Don't do this to me. I even oh said that yet. God. I'm not even criticized. You know what I'm saying? Liverpool. I've not mentioned anything that Hassan had mentioned beforehand. We we even got to it. We even got two people. Big up, man. Oh. We got Rayan. Big up, Ryan. Big up, Ryan. Yeah, man. That's low, bro. He says, I was right about Diaz. I was right about Dominic Sabozo. I was right about Nunes. Useless players. Congrats to Arsenal for winning the league. Oh, that's you're doing so well until the end right of that stupid chat, bro. What, what did you say, Hassan? I said, that's why Flawless roasts you regularly. But the thing is, though, as 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 yeah, that's number that's two. Um, as like annoying as Ryan is, like he was right about this game because he messaged me on the day of the game and was like, "Yo, I'm nervous," and I was thinking, "I right, just got talking." Yeah, he was right. British saying, "What does it say? A wrong clock is right." Yeah, yeah it's right to today. Right right but even with Diaz, he was like, "I see Diaz get." Trust me, I don't. Ryan's a little bro. I don't want to give him any credit, but he was he was speaking about Diaz months ago. He was been speaking about um Shabazz like like long before. Yeah, I can't lie. When I pull up in them guys. lives, he's he's oh yeah, yeah, I, like he's, you know, I, yeah, he's he's on them still. Yeah, like Nunes as well. Trust me, like these three players that are now people are criticizing and speaking about, in particular Liverpool fans. He was talking about from early. Trust me, I don't want to give him any credit, but he's been spot on with these three. I don't like this Arsenal winning the league, but he could be spot on about that. Yeah, yeah, that that's an L, but the rest is cool. <laughs> Big up LJ Brown. Lewis, I wanted your thoughts on the club world championship new format. I do agree that the previous winners qualify, but I think the other UEFA Cups should qualify too. Yeah, nah, Bundam. I'm just keeping for the Champions League. Winners. Real <laughs> juice game. The real thing is that, like, that's in mid season. That's during the trial. I didn't even man. give it a second thought, blood. He just yeah, said that. Him, win win the big trophy, or you can't be allowed into the club. It's as simple as that. A week, but the players need their three week vacation. At some point, because they're meant to go straight from one season to a World Cup, and then it finishes, you go straight to preseason. That ain't gonna work. First three fixtures of a new season need to be moved. But other than that, cool. I'm here for it. I agree with Lewis, by the way. Don't bring no Europa League, Conference League winner to, to the Club World Cup. That's disrespectful to that tournament. That tournament yeah. is massive. Santos, by the way, they won it three times, I think two times or three times. They still parade that shit till today. Club World Cup is something taken seriously all over the world. Those those clubs will fight on that pitch for it. So don't don't bring me no conference league winners. What we have West Ham in the fucking Club World Cup. Have some shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's so unnecessary. No, but that's a, a no, for real, right? the Champions League with Bobble us. Bobble they can yeah. hold that. No. I, I hear you, know, it should be, to me, a yeah, Club World Cup, it should be the elite of the yeah, elite. I do you. agree with that. I do agree with that, yeah. Rayan's back again, my family. Unpopular opinion. When fit, Nabi Keita was better than to boss line. I don't see how we get a result against Arsenal. He's panicking. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. He's you def- must. He's, he, you he's must def- he, he is definitely like the most reactionary. But like I said, in the last Super Chat, he's been spot on about a lot of things. A lot of the conversations Liverpool fans were having, he was telling me. And I was looking at him like, I think you're being a little bit overreactionary because he tends to do that. But so far, he's spot on. We'll see, though. But I thought he was the Hungarian Steven Gerrard, man. Shabazz lied. That's what I was hearing. Hungarian Stephen Gerrard, yo, because he hey, put in a couple of months. Thank God. Yeah, true say you did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You smarter than that. You smarter than that. Big up Stevie G. <clears throat> Big up Fats every time. <clears throat> Hussam, your club turned all the watch alongs into a snooze fest. Have some shame dignity. Hussam, didn't you also twerk for Arsenal last season? Yeah, he did work for Arsenal last season. Yeah, he so did. First, don't don't say that to Klaas. <laughs> you did work for them. What we so me that. saying I want <laughs> Arsenal to win the league is twerking. No, you said they were going to win the league. There's a big difference. Oh, so our prediction is now league. twerking. That's crazy. yes, hundred percent at that okay, time. Okay, so you twerk for Liverpool pre-game then, using your logic. No, it's not because the there you are, there you are. Change. When it's flawless, the logic changes. No, it's not. Okay. They were heavy. They were heavy favorites. You never at any point thought that Arsenal were a better there side than City. But Actually, just like you didn't of, say he'd he take a tuna loss, Mr. Twerk. I did. No, no, no. That's not twerking. You, you, are the, you were the favourites for that. Arsenal Fuck, was Manchester never the favourites to see. I get that. But that's where it comes from. You're twerking for Arsenal just because you dislike City so much. Yeah, but yours I do is dislike clouded. City. Your, yours City. is clouded. In, your, 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 you saying that is clouded in emotion. When I say what I say, it's clouded in logic. There's a, that's the difference. I'm thinking yeah. logically and clearly. Yours is emotion. So, 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 so when Arsenal oh. had 51 points after 19 <laughs> games, that's emotion. Don't do that. Yes, to say they were going to win the league. Yes, especially when you well, should you, know. You realize all. that's record. That's a record start. Yes, one hundred and ten percent. Don't say it's emotion. That's not emotion. It is that's emotion to say they are going to win the league because you've been up against Manchester so, City as a Liverpool fan. So you know, saying Arsenal was going to win the league no, last season. He, he, you know what? You know why troops can't win it. They didn't Come on, win let's it. be honest. Okay, let's be honest. Who was right? Stop acting crazy. When, when me and you had that debate, who ended up being right? Who won the league? That's not the point. That's not the that point. Is the, how is that you, not the no, point? No, 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 no. <laughs> Arsenal were unproven at that time. That's what the point is. Arsenal were yeah, unproven. Not, no, 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 no. That's not Flawless's point. This is what Flawless yes, does. Yes, it is. But how are you telling me what? <laughs> let me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. This is what Flawless does. Flawless sees the goalpost. I answer his question. He gets backed into a corner pause. And then he moves the goalpost and makes Three. it about something else. Three. No your point, on, your point is it was an emotional prediction. Yes. When I said Arsenal are going to win the league after 51 yes. points from 19 games, that's yes. not emotional. That's actually logical yes. because no club has had that good of a start and not won the league. You can't well, call that an emotional prediction. Okay, the reason why I call it an emotional prediction and Lewis got it without me having to explain it is because you should know as a Liverpool fan what it's like going up against Pep City in a title race. And though they are capable of going on a run and that's exactly what happened. All the evidence pointed to Manchester City going on that, uh, going in on that run. Also, Arsenal with their lack of experience. And we had the debate. Guess what? Who was right in the end? Who was right in the end? Who won the Once league? Once again, you didn't disprove anything I said, but thank you. <clears throat> All right, cool. Go on. Go carry on. These guys don't want to get it. Flawless. Oh, yeah. Big up, David. He says, I'm confused. Are players with Ten Hag or not? This is why I always say when people mention, oh, the players are not giving it all or the players are manager out. That's an excuse for skill level. That's what that is. Because the players at times, as we've seen, and I'll discuss it further very shortly, can put in a performance, can track runners and close down and be an organised unit despite injuries. Even if you dislike the manager, where's your self-pride? Where's your self-motivation? Where's your loyalty to the fans who are travelling up and down the country to see you or coming from far and wide or even in Manchester to come and watch you play at Old Trafford? So in regards to it, there's games where I thought, yeah, the players look like they're done with Ten Hag. And then you'll get a game like that one or, for example, a Burnley game where it's like, right, the players actually putting it in. They just lack skill. So in regards to it, I think I don't think the players like are done with him. I just don't think they're very good. And people just use it as an excuse. Big up JB. I'm going to call him JB because that's all my Yeah, man. yeah. Big up JB. <clears throat> Hussam, you clown. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
fucking funny. I don't give a shit. Because <laughs> I can actually imagine it like, Hussam, he should have put a comma and then you clown. Yeah, you clown, man. <laughs> I did it for him. <laughs> I moved the comma because the comma's after the clown. You should have put it out after Hussam. Then it went I made a hit, though, blood. You understand? <laughs> <clears throat> Goes on to say, this is our worst start in 37 years, and yet you couldn't put us out of our misery. Hold that, you bum. Hold that. All love, though. Ha, ha, ha. Love that, man, at the end. That's great. See? Love that. That's why I laugh, because I read the whole thing before yeah, I read yeah, that. Yeah. And I said, that's, that's that's like that, man. Big up Steven Zolsos. Big up Flawless Sarcasm City General and Hussam Hold It. Liverpool, we're rubbish. Don't... Oh, sorry. Liverpool were rubbish. Don't try to move and deflect. The worst United since Ferguson... Held, held you at home with the most fans. Happy, and a happy AFA anniversary. I don't know what the AFA. Let me expose Stephen. Stephen is an Arsenal. That's true, man. You even open up your team. Let me expose him. Stephen is an Arsenal fan. Stephen Stephen is is a is a Man United fan. Sorry, who wants Liverpool to win the league over Arsenal because he hates Arsenal fans. Stephen. Fair enough. Fair enough. The thing is with that with United fans because we. Because we got some, because we have so big many. Up Steven. Because, yeah, big up to Stephen. Because, yeah, big up to Stephen first and foremost. Yeah, you know I'm saying, love to see the sarcasm. City Lewis hates Arsenal to fuck. Like, no. a Lewis just hates the fuck out yeah, of yeah, Arsenal. Yeah. But the thing is, what it is with United is because of our London, rivals. So I get it. Yeah, because because of like, um, we have so many rivals. When you talk to United fans, everyone's list is different. That's what it is. Like, I me, think like, the older like, generation is, is Liverpool. I'm yeah, Liverpool, but you I'm can't man, be a Man United man, fan and want Liverpool to win anything. No, you can't. I, I well, agree. That's, the big up. That's like I, the I, big up right I, there. I agree with that. But then I, you could also put Arsenal in that sentence. You can also put Manchester City in that sentence. You can put Leeds in the sentence. I hate them all. I'm saying just because I have a hierarchy, preference. I dislike them more. Yeah, it's preference. That's all it is. No, no, I hear, you, I hear you flawless. You, but once again, look at troops as the example. Spurs mm. haven't been successful his entire life. They even won yeah. one Carabao Cup. Like, they're mm. way worse than us, clearly. <laughs> But still, mm -hmm. he would never want Spurs to win anything. Come on, man. That's true. That's, true, of course, That's of the big I rival. That's big up. Only compared to somebody else. Like, to me, again, if it's Tottenham or Arsenal, Tottenham have to do the unthinkable. If it ever got to that point. <laughs> I'm already there. The Anyone but Arsenal. Come on, man! You, you already that? know about Arsenal, man. I'm with you with that. Man. There's some yeah. Chelsea fans that'll say different, and that's their preference. But to me, right. if it's ever, if it's ever last day of the season, one, yeah. it's Tottenham v Arsenal, and they're both going for the title. Pack, God man, forbid, yeah. it has to be Tottenham. God forbid, anyone but you guys. And with that, big up Gareth Rumsey. That's a mad one, Rumsey. You know, big up to you all and everyone in the chat. This Liverpool versus Man United section will be mud. The argument will be mud. Have a good Christmas, all. Big up um, to you, obviously, man. happy holidays going out to uh, Hussam. Um, Lewis, you support, um, you support, you celebrate Christmas, all right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Merry Christmas to uh, Flawless and uh, Merry Lewis Christmas. Blood. Merry Christmas to you as well, Gareth Blood. You understand? Yes. My brother Lee Burnell. I'm a Guna Rupoy. There it is, Blood. Confirmation. Big up Carefree Chloe. I always see her in Lewis's chat. Uh, big up the panel, especially Lewis and that Usam <laughs> is the biggest. <laughs> big up Chloe. Yo, you really are the panther of my villain, you know. I trust that. Really? She's the villain of the panel. You, you I'm the villain. villain. It's you, you, you know. You're the villain, blood. Uh, for once, I'm not the villain. Oh, I have no luck. You're the villain, God, yo. Man. I know He's it's not just me. Villain. You think that about you. You are the villain. You I'm are the villain. Can you just get through the super chats, please? <laughs> oh, now you want to get through the super chats. Now you want to get through them, yeah. <laughs> Now you want to get through them. <laughs> <laughs> also, guys, hit the like button. There's not enough likes. Oh, yeah, hundred percent. And let me cut people out in the chat, guys. Can you stop bitching about the layout? It's clearly just because the super chats are here. Yeah, here, yeah. relax. Yeah, why are you always we bitching? Need to about like that, people. There we hit go, the like that. button. Go get the popcorn and enjoy the show. Yeah, sit back and relax. Yeah. How are you annoyed about the layout? Why are you annoyed? We're reading so the super chat. Calm See? down. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Big up Carla says we need to dis we need to discuss about Darwin Nunes. We definitely will. We will we definitely we will. will. Big up Alberto Ray. Lewis, what's your opinion on Kai starting to do decent for Arsenal now? Ah, purple patch hype. I've been here before. I'm just enjoying my victory this weekend. It's all good, man. I've had a peaceful weekend. I don't care about no Kai. I'll be real. <laughs> Big up B Lali. Hold that, Habibi Hussam. 
بس <تصفيق> البلال <تصفيق> 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 لا تغلط تقول حبيبي لما اسب عليك لك <laughs> But big up Lex. He's Jamaican done. Unfortunately, a Liverpool fan. Have you got the uh, Have you got the pro clubs today? Uh, I might after this. I need to I, I need to message everyone and see if everyone's about. And I might yes. do it straight after this. Send me Send me link if you go. Like. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Hundred percent. Big up Shakir. Um, I done. Come on, he says. Big up to the goats. Take sarcasm city with you everywhere you go. Hussam, what's up with uh, Virgil Van Dijk, bro? He was second best after big game Johnny Paul. Yeah, shout out Johnny you know, Evans, man. I get really pissed off at people like you, brother. <laughs> shout out, no, But you know why I get pissed off people like you? Me, let's all slander Liverpool as much as you want, but let's slander the... How the fuck are you slandering Van Dyke after this? Today? Like, slander the right people, bro. Like, leave Van Dyke alone. He said he was second best. Yeah, because we were attacking the whole game. You didn't even see Van Dyke enough. Big up, Yassir. He says, flawless, you still think Klopp is a spicy wenger? Yes, until proven otherwise. Prove me wrong, yes. I stand on it. Big up football or soccer, it's football. It's Big football, up to you bro. guys, elite panel, much <laughs> love to you all, except you some. <laughs> you can hold that. <laughs> oh, my you know, God. You know, what is, <laughs> you know what it is, Sam? It's because you're such a wind-up. That's what it is. Day, it's because you're a wind-up. They've been waiting for you, man. We have had a half man. hour of Super Chats <laughs> cooking this, Sam. This is crazy, <laughs> no, bro. Is Big crazy. up to the said, chat. Big up to the no, chat. I said much love to you all, except to Sam. I love yeah. that, man. Big up to you, football or soccer. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> man said, triple. <laughs> Flawless, please cook him. Flawless is going to cook him, man. <sighs> Big up, uh, Rai27. Troops, what's good seeing you yesterday as usual, my guy? Big up, Ryan, blood, you get me? Hospitality, security, that's my family, you get me? Okay. Good to see you yesterday, blood. Big up, Jack, he's back again. How many sixes who saw him smoke since that loss? <laughs> <laughs> that's how he went through the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that's how he went through a 200 bundle. <laughs> <laughs> Might go through more cigarettes than dot cotton, but I'm telling you. I already know. That must be at least three of those packs you've gone through. Oh, RIP dot cotton, yo, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I went today and I bought the whole carton. Facts, man. You go through. All I'm saying to, to, to people listening, serious advice, guys. The worst thing you can do is smoke cigarettes. Never ever smoke Agreed. cigarettes. This is advice Agreed. I give you. Smoke. I've been smoking 10 years. It's the worst thing you can do. Smoking in my country is, is a problem. It's a national problem. We're it's the second Arab highest problem, smoker man. in the world. You know, we're the second highest smoking. We're actually the highest smoking country in the world. It's a, what do they call it? Uh, not a not a crisis. What do they call it? There's a word for it. Where it's like a national. I'm so sorry. <laughs> when, it's a, uh, yeah. when it's a national thing, like. You know, so be careful, you guys. Don't smoke, Sorry. right? Never epidemic. That's the word. It's an epidemic in my country. Don't smoke, kids. Don't smoke. Lucas is dying, blood. <laughs> no, I didn't expect that. Oh my god. Who was that in the chat? It says big it says, up, oh, big up, bro. Oh my god. He says, big up on the pod from the middle of the US. Big up yourself, Jack big Blood. Up, big up Cryptic Dino. You saw him, you called me a Chelsea fan last night. I like how you That's dealt nice. with that Spurs fan on Terrace. If it happens again, I have to cook you gunners. You called me a Chelsea fan last night. Wait, who do you support then, Dino? Yeah, you know. must have... You... It's a uh... compliment. Take it, bro. Mm. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Big up, Rye27 again, blood. He says, truth, big up yourself as usual, my broski, flawless, Lewis and Hussam. Love this show and the chemistry with you four. But Hussam, hold that and settle yourself. 
要你输了，讲到最后，你输了，哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈Oh. Flawless, oh. when is the new new trophy parade at OT? Says Captain yeah. Sal. Big up Captain Sal. This is the, this That's is one the of same. my guys. Big up. This is big up Sal. This is the same club that did a trophy parade with the Carabao Cup. Like, come on, man. Like, what we do with that? And the FA Cup. And the FA Cup. Sexist, I told you a hundred times. We were <laughs> fighting the women's team because they want to travel. Relax. Hey, shout, shout out the women's team, but you should have done it separately. Let them have their moment. You lot don't. No, no, no. no we're trophies. supporting women's football. Yeah, we can support. You lot can support from the side. You know what I'm saying? Let them have their day. Because they oh, no, want to travel them about a the major trophy. Parade for the Liverpool you know what I'm saying? These lot paraded the FA Cup. They, we would never do that parade second tier trophies. Even though Carabao Cup was our oh, first in oh, six God. years. We still Guys didn't do that. It's so jarring today. Why, 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 why are you upset, man? I've been the nicest to you on here. Nah, do you know what it is? He's seen the next Super Chat, blood. Look, big oh, up Winter Surfer, who saw him, you big fraud. Big up Surfer. <laughs> <laughs> Big up surfer, my dog. You died, dog, not much yesterday. Oh my See, if god! If you guys man. just scored, you wouldn't have had to go through this. Man. <sighs> Big up Boobaka Bar. Liverpool are literally cardio FC. They are so one dimensional. All they do is spam crosses and run 100 miles per hour. Nunes is worse than Morata. Bumba Clot. Big up Gareth Rumsey once again. Now we are a few games away from going halfway through the season. What are your thoughts so far and predictions for the rest of the season? Thinking six, are you deluded? Come on, you gunners. That was a little shot at uh, Hussam blood. We will delve into that in a, in, in a little bit, my G. All of them uh, are shots at me. All of them, literally. Steven Soso, again, Hussam, in my opinion, LFC fans aren't that loud. AFC fans are unbearable. They move like they fiss up Madrid. Happy Argentina World Cup win. Big up to you all. Much love. Stephen acted like he doesn't he watch the sun. Look, look, look at it. Look oh, at he's it. saying happy day. Was it the was was the World Cup final this day last year? Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, I was celebrating. Big up, I was really happy for Messi, man. I was really happy. Big no, up, Messi. Stephen, have you not seen all the super chats? Because Hassan is loud and unbearable. That's why you got every fan base uniting going at him. It's not the United fans. You are United, Arsenal, Chelsea. They tired of him. Look at the super chats. Look at this shit. And they're bigging him up at the same time. So you know it's out of love. I mean, look right now. Nice you on the stream for some. I mean, look, you got the Egyptian Carlito <laughs> here saying, please tell Luke Shaw to release me, I beg. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't even <laughs> deep that one. That's really <laughs> good. That's really look at the Avi as well. Lord, <laughs> Lord. I got Carlito. Oh, I stood in the face of people that don't want to be cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. That's crazy, man. Big up Ellie, the book reaper. Large hey, guy, on, Eli. on the panel. Flawless doesn't even have to say anything as his smirk does all the talking for him. <laughs> it's like that's that's, that's fucking him. true, bro. Bro, it's, it's like, been, like, he's, five, he's a 35 minute Liverpool cooking and Flawless ain't said a word. <laughs> ain't said a word, blood. We haven't gone crazy. Into this. We haven't fucking spoke about the game, blood. This is, about the game. Hey, this is beautiful, man. Much love to the chat, blood. Real shit. Big Rats. up Margs got the vision. Roy King, Cook, Van Dyke. Big up the pod from Toronto. Smash the likes, people. Come on, big up the six every blood clot time. Winter <laughs> Surfer yet again. Big up, Surfer. Tell Big Cherry who's some. Big Noodles Cherry. Noodles worse than Nico. Big up, Nico. Big up, Kuti, Kutilo. Just drop that and bounce. Big up your damn self. Big up, Nathan. Says, big up the panel. But who shame? <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> In a blood clot. Not a in a blood clot. Who shame is great, yo? Who shame, you know? Is great. You mean, so they said, who sorry? Who shame? All right, yo, piss, man. All right, yo, fucking piss, man. Oh, my day, sir. It's actually a bad thing, man. I can't even lie to the people, blood. Big up, Harif. Hussam lied to me last week. I'm going to start <laughs> smoking. 
Yo, you lot are brilliant. Oh my God. <laughs> you lot are brilliant. Jesus. <laughs> Big up Maverick Warrior. Oh. Big shout out to... Oh my God. Big shout out to Spurs for promoting their co-themed chess emblem. Their man are now celebrating with gang signs. Head lost Chelsea fan. Big up, man. Up the Chelsea. My guy. Where, all right. Where is it? All right, cool. Big up Caesar or Caesar. Hussam's lungs can't handle playing in Liverpool's midfield. Neither could mine, blood. And the way yeah, I that would, I would, I would, I would, I would none of our lungs would could, blood. I would suffer in a club team. Just I, 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 yeah, I even smoke, but I would suffer in a club team. Hundred percent playing. They can do the running for me. That's legs. Like I had hatred to play for club blood. Not like because like the, the training schedule and the rut is mm. mad. Mm. Big up certified. We got the panel. Hold that, Hussam. <laughs> you absolute fraud. <laughs> you brought this on yourself, blood. You, you did brought it to yourself. this. You did it to yourself, blood. I swear down. Big up El Cid. Big up troops all the way from Australia. Yo, we got the Aussie man. Them. Big up. Hey, Hussam. Six nil. Pause. The only six I see is the lines on your forehead. <laughs> She's trying to wild in, yo. It's trying to crazy. It's trying to crazy. Gunners. Gunners fan. Crypto's a gunner. So no, crypto, the one that you call the Chelsea fan, Hussam. Oh, sorry to hear, man. Fuck. Yeah, he's the he's the Arsenal fan. <laughs> Big up, ND. I swear I see him always in Lewis's streams. That's why I ask. Yeah, yeah probably supporting. Yeah, come on, Thanks, guy. Yeah. Imagine if United won. This was only a draw. That's that's yeah, true, you know. Yeah, facts, Look how yeah. it is after a nil nil. Who's up? You're lying. Oh my days. This is yeah. yeah this facts. is like so. Big up, Tumpa Lion. United celebrating a bus sponsored draw is crazy. Like Liverpool, like Liverpool didn't do that at home to West Brom. All oh, holding hands in unison. We are the world record. What are we talking about here? But when we all right, cool. All right. This guy, okay. look, look, who's, look, this guy thinks he's this guy's just got bare receipts in his pocket, blood. You know them hoarders. He's got something from like 15 years ago. You know how many times I heard blood. them already you, as blood. well? You know how many times I heard them the same I'm exact just, bar? I'm, yeah, again, because the last you keep, year and a half. Because you keep thinking I'm telling jokes. I'm just telling the truth. He said something about us celebrating the draw. You lot celebrated a draw at home to West Brom. No, we didn't. All holding hands no, in front of the cop. Klopp explained it a hundred times. Bob Go on, what did Klopp say? Go on, what did Klopp okay. say? Klopp came Go. in from Germany. That was the first time Go he you. came in from Germany. At the end yes. of the games in Germany, regardless of the result, <laughs> they only thank the fans. So yeah. he done that. And then they told him that in England they don't do it, so he stopped doing yeah. it. That's it. All right, so Simple. he didn't do his so he didn't do his due diligence and research beforehand. Got you. Yeah, it has not. That doesn't mean they celebrated he, the draw. He okay. didn't, but he didn't do his due diligence and research. All right, cool. thanking the fans is not celebrating a draw. All right, cool. Because I guarantee, I guaranteed, if you would have played United on the last day and we win there, he's not doing that. Guaranteed. guaranteed. Why? Why do you always change it? See how he just changes the goalposts. I'm not. I'm I just, put, just I'm pointing it out. You celebrated the draw. I, you know, we have an Arabic saying. We have an Arabic saying. Oh. Jamal, I tell you, I have a buffalo. You're like milk it, but I cannot milk a buffalo. <laughs> Hey, yo. This is your problem. Hey. Anytime I say something, hey, you can move on. Go on, hey, then Hussam, explain it. I go like, this was his first yeah. year at, at Liverpool, just yeah. came in. In uh -huh. Germany, they always thank the fans. So he just what? thanked the fans for the first uh -huh. time. And he's like, oh, I bet you if it was United at home, you wouldn't have thanked the fans. Yeah, but they told him after the game that they don't do this in England, so stop doing it. So he stopped doing okay. it. That's yeah, it. so he stopped it doing a it. Well, so, misunderstanding. so what I said initially is he didn't do his due diligence before. That's all. You yeah, can't okay. argue over it. anything, innit? He didn't yeah, 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 facts, man. It's, it's he actually just, like, right? you will argue over anything. I've also been not playing it now. It'll be the little thing and it'll be like, bang, it's kicked off now. Yeah, man, it is. I can't just be up. No, 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 it's a That also does not negate the fact that that's not celebrating a draw. Hence your point being. All right, cool. I think he celebrated the draw. That's what it looked like to me. So I'm running with yeah, that. Okay, you think it? Yeah, I'm running with that. Yeah, of course, man. You you do it all the time. You do it day in, day out. You know what I'm saying? So what I do is a problem. All right. Yes. Yeah, sure. You say you do it every day that ends in Y. You run agendas all the time. That's why the chat's here cooking you for 40 minutes. I even said shit. <laughs> I open it. This guy don't get it. You know what I'm saying? This is a That's generation. Like, oh, yeah, boy. facts. This guy don't get it. I do to you what you do to everybody else and you want to cry about it. And I do I'm not crying time. about anything. I'm here. Okay. I'm here. I don't mind. Sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Look in the camera. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just correct. <laughs> How about you look in the camera? Look in the camera, I've been man. looking at the camera for the uh, last yeah, yeah. five See, you ain't been looking at the camera, man. I can't oh, I can't I can't look in the camera, man. I said look in I'm the camera, man. Texting, man. No, I, I, yeah, okay. Look in the camera. When you lot cooked us, I, I, I was looking, looking in the camera. I was direct. I was here. Sorry, I have to respond to my mother's WhatsApp. Of course, man. 
Respond. Yeah, I was here. Yeah, I'm well, not saying I'm wrong. Big up, mummy. Respond to her. Yeah, exactly. Big up yeah, her yeah. I'm, I'm saying the whole show. You ain't been responding for 40 minutes, but hey, any excuse. I've literally responded to everything. Yeah, all right. Big up, Mr. Link. He says, United, shameful, but Hussam Habibi, you are haram. We're going to talk about that, blood. Why always me? Big him up, blood. Says, my mum asked me if the dishes were done. I replied, Robert Lewandowski. She That's smiled. She knew they were washed. I yeah, he's, he's calling. He's calling Lewandowski washed. That's oh. what he's saying. He's oh. saying he's washed. That's why. This oh. disrespectful. <laughs> Lewandowski. That's peak, man. It's oh. one of the best strikers around. You know what I'm saying? We've we've seen. He must be a Madrista. Hmm. We got Margs who scam. Hold that. <laughs> he's one <funny>. prem <laughs> in thirty years, <laughs> and you got held by a pensioner in Johnny Evans, and Salah is trapped in the is trapped in Chunky Boy Shore Wars. <laughs> I ain't got time, blood. Let me. Just, I saw a man oh, saying sell Salah to Saudi. He was getting that crazy. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, yeah, the Anfield you in it. <laughs> yeah, big up. That was I crazy, see, though. Yeah, I see that. He went off, blood. We'll take him. Yeah, I bet oh, you. Oh man, big up, Will, Jordan, and Mister Bean. Hold that. <laughs> Gonna need more sig packs, sig packs, to save your season. Who's sorry? Oh shit! <laughs> I didn't even see wow. that. <laughs> That's funny. I can't lie. <laughs> sorry, who scam, who fraud. They were ready for this. They were ready, lad. These are the drafts, yo. <laughs> Big up Hen Giddy. Uh, why didn't why didn't you score at Anfield, Hussam? They have oh no no in goal and old retired men in defense. What a fraud. <laughs> your your you favorite one today. A1 today, bro. Oh yo, my god. Point. You are gay. Hey. Big up Nathan Taylor, who shame feeling <laughs> because that's a rum. That's, that's a rum. That's wild. He's feeling, that's like wild. A, he's feeling like a chicken nugget, blood. Do you get me? <laughs> feeling like a grade A waffle. That's what it me? is. A hello you know one. You understand? Yeah, a waffle, yes. Big up Winter Surfer again. So Bozo was poor yesterday. <laughs> up yours, flawless. Shout out, Surfer. This guy always on my case. See, her service, not just you. Big up, Surfer, though. Big up Pablo Martinez, my dog. 90% of our, uh, 99% of Arsenal fans didn't rate Kai when he joined. Same fans are now sucking him off pause, Zar included. Uh, much love all all and Filias Navada. Oh, FEK Arsenal. Come on. I think you're um, saying fuck Arsenal. What? FEK? Oh, feck. Yeah. Let's try and be PG you. about it. Uh, fuck you, blood. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Big up Bubakar. Flawless, low-key, getting away with murder. Bro, bro team played like Luton Town and he is here smirking like he won the match. Shame is free. Big up. Bubaka, Bubaka you watched the show. You know what I'm like. <laughs> you knew what to expect when you see the back of the podcast man. was going live and that. And I will discuss that and dispel that whole myth in regards to it not being a good point and how it was celebrated by some etc etc i just think it was a, it was a well-deserved and well fought for point that's as far as it goes that's just my opinion though big up yasir he says big up the lad special shout out to my aki Hussam and fellow cfc bro lewis finally top we role back. Big, up back my up. Brother, big up my brother abdi who i smoke oh god Desert Delhi foul. Oh yeah, god, yeah, that doesn't even rhyme, man. It's crazy. No, Quite because they, no, because they'll say who I smoke, and then they'll say a name in it. So he's saying Desert Delhi foul. It does. It, it actually drops. Who I smoke? Desert Delhi foul. It actually. Boom boom boom. Making my way around town. Walking by. Can't break down ten hogs defense. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, no, just catching shots. They ain't doing shit. They ain't picking balls out the net now. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's actually pretty good for a freestyle. I can't All right, lie. quick freestyle, bro. What's up with that? That's pretty good, yeah, bro. Oi. Big up CFC, Ilias. Big up Live for opening 7K seats for all those. <laughs> 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 Rumor is some is milking buffaloes like Van Dyke was milking it. <laughs> hey, CFC, that's good. I'm bad. I didn't think of that. That's good. That's good. That's good. He's hey, your you... own saying on you, bro. Hey, you lot, real ones. <clears throat> we got Taiwo, HDL, Husam, Defense League. Let these peons 
have their fun for now. Low pause. Hey, big up to you, Tyro. Big up, Margs. Choose where can I send some merch for you and the man them. I need to get an actual, I need to make a PO box, blood. And then, boom, I'm going to, um, yeah, I'll put, I'll put like a link in there. And then every, you lot can send us all. I mean, oh, yeah, wanna... people looking to send merch. Yeah, yeah, send that. Oh, yeah. You can just, you can, you can mm -hmm. just get an address thing at one of them, you know, one of the mail places type thing. Yeah, mm. so we're not sending it to you. Yeah, like 100%. Yeah, man, big up to you, man. That's to everyone. Hey, mm -hmm. you don't want to send any merch that you need promoting, shout us. Mm -hmm. Got it. 100%. Big up Nathan Taylor. Big up Who Backo. All love my G. <laughs> Stop using just... haram things, Nathan, you prick. Oh, is it haram? <laughs> my bad. My bad. Fair, fair, fair. Oh, is it? Is it haram? Oh, what? Is tobacco haram? No, that's not what he meant. That's what he meant. Exactly. Tobacco. Who Backo? Because yeah. tobacco. tobacco. No, yeah. Fine. I would never laugh at anything haram. Cause I wouldn't. Yeah, I thought that like, was like tobacco. Yeah, tobacco. Yeah. When, because when my track called you a pea chop, tobacco. I said nah, he's a chicken. Right, but his head's gone, man. I'm not even going to say the word. That's why I said pea yeah. chop. Yeah, yeah. His head's gone, man. Allow him. Yeah, his head's gone. Still. This is cool. His head is disappeared. Don't worry. There's only there's only two more blood. Don't worry, Usam. There's only two more blood. Lose some. Yay! Yay. <laughs> that is all with an XO. <laughs> Big up carefree Chloe. Big up Hisham. The elephant stays on top, blood. You get me? Oh shit, there's one more blood. Let me get that one in quick. Big up Shakir. Thank God I don't Sheik, take SEO advice you, from Hussam. Big up Sheik, because someone said that in my chat. Large up Sheik. You was probably in the chat when they said it or on the watch along. Big up to my Don Sheik every single time. Someone said that. Now, Alhamdulillah, we're done. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> you just ran the big up to everyone supporting. Hey, you are real talk. talk. Like, real that was, we got enough crazy. One. That we was got like enough, round of applause for one. the chat, blood. You get me, like real talk, blood. That was yeah, salute to the yeah, chat. Blood. And that Lewis was, is yeah. saying we got another one, another mm. one, another one. I'm sure they're going to be throwing them in during this one, blood. Mm. Like, like especially about when Hussam's chatting his shit, and they will be critiquing what he's saying, but. Anfield, the big game was there this weekend. Liverpool, Man United. Man United was in town. Liverpool nil, Man United nil. Piss poor from Liverpool. Um, there was all this chat, all this expectation. These men even opened their, 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 their stand, blood. 7K extra, bro. Yeah, you understand? F for what, blood? For what? You get me? It, it was a very poor performance. Like, all your chances weren't like they were. There wasn't even like a time when I thought, "Oh shit, you get me." Like there was no. There was for here. all the pos for all the possession they had and all the areas they had had the, the, the football in. There was nothing clear. They looked most dangerous from set pieces, and that was the the point I've made on this show many a time. Whether it's us against Bournemouth last week, where we had X amount of possession, X amount of shots. Just because you have possession and you have a lot of shots, Liverpool I think had thirty plus shots at seventy plus percent possession. What did you create? I always say this. Like, that's my point. And I, and I will continue to say that. That was not a good attacking display. Overall, was their team yeah, defensively fine. Midfield progressing the ball and getting the ball into the correct areas was fine from Liverpool. But in the final third is where they lacked. That was not a good performance from them. And even if they had won the game, I'd still be sat here saying it. Hussam? Go on, fam. Your yes. Um, first of all, I'm, I'm not going to change the story of the game just because of, of the context of what I said pre-game. What I said pre-game does not change what happened in the game. Liverpool were absolutely dominant, by far the better team. 70% possession, 36 shots, 8 shots on target, 12 corners. That's literally a team who dominated the game. Uh, I think our forward line is, is the ones who let us down alongside Sobaslai. Those for me. Darwin uh, and, and Diaz, dumb and dumber on the pitch for me yesterday. Absolute idiots. Um, completely useless on the football pitch for me. Uh, I think Luis Diaz has been our worst forward this entire year. I'd sell him tomorrow happily if given the opportunity. I've had enough of him. He's Colombian. He can't even, can't even dribble. Uh, but yesterday, what pissed me oh, off. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me cook. You think this guy will cook me? I'll cook my own team. I'm tired of these motherfuckers. Now, when it comes to Diaz, he's Colombian. Forget he cannot dribble past Dalo. He couldn't even get past Anthony. Anthony's a right winger. He couldn't even get past the right winger. I'm done with this Diaz guy. Happily, would sell him tomorrow. Wallahi, I would sell him tomorrow if given the opportunity. I would take Huang Hee Chan over him. Happily play him left wing. The Darwin Nunes, once again, useless. There is nothing that anyone who defends Nunez is saying right now that Luis 
who heard Werner fans say two years ago, oh, he gets into the right position. He's offside half the time. He's yeah. fucking shit. He's not good enough. Wallah al-Azim, Edin Katia is better. Sorry. I swear to God, I would take Edin Katia over Darren Nunes happily tomorrow. Give me Edin Katia right now. And Edin Katia would have 10 goals in this Liverpool team with ease. Edin Katia is at least semi-clinical. The chances that we create for Darwin Nunes, he'd score half of them. That's 10 Premier League goals already. Absolutely dreadful once again. Darwin Nunes can't keep the ball, can't dribble, can't pass, can't shoot. This is this is the, the problem we have this team. Now, Dominic Sobislai for me dropped an absolute stinker yesterday. Every time he got the ball, he either gave it away to a Man United goal kick or to a Man United throw-in. Couldn't control the ball to save his life. Every uh, every time Mo tried to play a one-two with him, he just played it with with Manchester United instead. Absolutely dreadful performance from him. I think when it comes to Mo, I thought he was crap in the first half, but second half he was a lot better. He was the only one actually trying to do something with the ball. Like he got the ball, tried to do something, tried to create, tried to shoot, tried to do etc. So he was someone who's at least trying to impact the game positively. So I, I I'm not going to slander him for it. Even the most dangerous chance we got, which is when Dumb and Dumber were in the penalty box, he's the one who played the pass to them. He's the one who took the the free, uh, the throwing quickly, got the ball back immediately, and played the pass through to Nunez and 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 Diaz. And then they decided Nunez decided to over dribble it, uh, and then Diaz decided to shoot right at Onana. And after that, Nunez decided to stop running for God knows what reason. I'm not just not going to run anymore. I'm just going to let it go out and just stare into the abyss. Um, look, at the start of the season, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. I said this and probably I think everyone on the stream as well agreed. Liverpool's forward line is, is actually our strength, not our weakness. Liverpool's forward line is, is something that we always speak of uh, positively. You know, so... It's something we speak of positively. So with Liverpool's forward line, look, the the it's 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 now crystal clear that all four of them are not good enough. Kogi, uh, Cody Gakpo came on and he just dropped an absolute stinker as well. Um, absolutely dreadful. There are four forwards this this season that have just not played the. Have just not played well for us. Uh, Cody Gakpo got uh, two goals in 15 games. Luis Diaz got three goals in 16 games. Darwin Nunes got four goals in 16 games. Jota got four goals in 12 games. Listen, man, most the only one performing. Most big chances created in the league, Mo Salah. Most assists in the league, Mo Salah. Second most goals in the league, Mo Salah. The other four are not playing to an even acceptable level. And now signing a forward has become almost one of the things that we need to do this January. We have to do some extra shopping. Diaz was, you know, Diaz's dad said his dream is to play for Barcelona. Send him there. Him and Rafinha, oh, one shit. wing. Him and Rafinha, one wing. Incredible. Both of them overrated, hot garbage. So for me, I'm done with, with Luis Diaz. Dreadful. Can't, can't dribble, can't pass, can't shoot, can't create. Doing fuck all. Um, and for me, like, I actually feel bad for Mo because it's like someone, he, he just needs a running mate. Bro, make, make a run so I will pass it to you. Give me space so I can take a shot. Just help me out a little bit. We didn't, never even got that help, to be honest with you. Our midfield was dead. I'm, I'm getting out of another game saying Endo, Trent, and Simikas was our best players, which is not, not a positive indicator. Uh, but that's actually a bad thing when you're saying you're more defensive players or you're better players. Um, look. Trent was your Max, best player. Yeah, yeah. Trent was one. Trent and Endo, Simikas, to be fair. Endo yeah, Trent Simikas and Endo, those were the three. Endo, Endo was the one midfielder. Okay, he did his job. Like what? He's the DM. Every time Man United tried to attack or do something, he was there in the right position. He just didn't do anything wrong. It's not like Endo did anything wrong. He didn't. You know, he just done his job. So those three for me were the only ones who played well. Um, and look, I think Man United are getting too much credit after this game. Man United cannot be held to the standard in which what the fans said pre-game is now held to Manchester United standards. Now, of course, a point away at Anfield is good, just like a point away at the Emirates is good, just like a point away at the Etihad is good, 100%. But for me, when I look at that performance, Liverpool manufactured their own downfall. If the Van Dijk header goes in or the Gakpo header goes in or the Trent shot that this was this much far goes in or the Diaz shot goes in or Nunes decides to continue running instead of just watching the ball go out for a, for a corner. Or in the first half when we had a counter-attack, literally three on two. Like, we had opportunities and we just didn't take any of them. Even the, the shots from outside, like, we weren't... It's not like we were shooting from 40 yards. We were shooting from close to goal, but even the shooting accuracy wasn't in there. You ask, did Sobislai shoot? He did, and it landed in Goodison. That's where it landed. He was playing American football, not real football. 
So those are the play the players let us down, in my opinion. Club substitutions were a bit too late. Playing Gakpo right wing is insane. Gakpo is not a right winger in the Premier League because in the Premier League you need pace and power. He just doesn't have enough explosiveness. He has power, not pace. Explosive enough, I'm not talking about his speed because someone will go like, oh my God, he's actually fast, you know. No, I'm talking about him getting 0 to 60. How fast do you get 0 to 60? That's what I have a problem with. But Liverpool, absolutely embarrassing. Not good enough, 100%. United fans have every right to be happy with that result, specifically given what happened seven months ago. I have no problem with United fans being happy because let's all cut the bullshit. Let's all cut the crap. When it, when If I go away at the Emirates, I'm taking a point. If I go away at the Etihad, I'm taking a point. When it was 1-1 at the Etihad, I came here and I said, that's a fantastic result. That's all just just cut this shit here. Everyone going like, oh, man, United fans celebrating. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, let them celebrate. So what? They came to Anfield, they got a point. They got destroyed 7 nil six months ago. So what if they're celebrating? I don't give a fuck. I'm more worried about my forward line not being able to hit a barn door. So, you know, four, four of them right. not been good enough this season. Diaz, I would sell him tomorrow happily. Nunez, I would sell him tomorrow happily. And now it's become a thing where we just need forwards is now on the shopping list. We need someone to put the ball in the back of the net. Mo Salah needs a Mane, needs a Firmino, needs someone to help him the fuck out because you cannot do everything by yourself. You cannot be in a team where you're the guy with the most big chances created, the most assists, the most goals. So essentially, let's assume for God knows what reason Mo Salah has a bad game. Sounds He's allowed to have a bad game. If he has a bad game, the other two, is someone going to step up? No. So that's that's the fucking problem in, in this team right here, right now. And when I look at the DM position, because I know you guys have heard me. Because I thought that, you're yeah, you always screamed about a DM. You ain't really yeah, screamed um, about your forward line. Yeah, facts. 100%. When it comes I've been to the, the one DM... screaming about my forward line. Yeah, when it comes to the DM position, I've come up here and I've spoken about DM. We still need a <laughs> right, DM. Lewis. <laughs> My my brother. Brother. We, we, we still need a DM in the grand scheme of things. But right now, the two priorities for me are a forward and a centre-back. A centre-back is because Matip is out to the end of the season and Konat is an injury waiting to happen. I will live with Endor McAllister there to the end of the season. I'll, I can live with it. What I cannot live with is Nunez and Diaz anymore. Those two specifically, I just can't live with it anymore because they're just wasting point after point after point, chance after chance after chance. They do fuck all with it. So, yeah, I'm, 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 I've had enough, to be honest with you. So, yeah, these two would gladly sell them tomorrow and, and replace them because we need better. Because there's a league title to be won. And if we're serious on this down transfer window, we could still win it. Because despite all this, and rightfully so, I'm going to get cooked today. Despite all this, we're still only one point behind. So it's not a catastrophe or, or a crisis. It's just us addressing these small things so we can take it to the next level. That's it. And winning against Arsenal next week because you must. Hey, don't put your faith in me winning against Arsenal next week. Arsenal are, are a much tougher opposition than Man United. The, there's only one silver lining. There's only one silver lining. First of all, people are bitching about Van, what Van Dijk said. Fuck Roy Keane and his punditry. It's all boring. Every time he comes on, he just does the same shit week in, week out. No one gives a fuck about your punditry, number one. Number two, nothing wrong with what Van Dijk said. Yes, there was only one team trying to win the game. But at the same time, it's because we are expected to win the game. So, of course, Man United are going to come up here and park the bus because they tried not parking the bus six months ago. And you remember what happened. So, nothing wrong with what Van Dijk said for me. But it's on the players to deliver. Klopp, Klopp's role is to make you dominate. You dominated. You had 70% possession. You had 36 shots. Eight shots on target. 12 corners. Put the ball in the back of the net. So, we, let's not just blame the manager for, for everything and shit. So, yeah, that's, 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 that's all I'm going to say on, on the game. We're just not good enough on the day. And Man United deserve the draw, to be honest with you, 100%, because we manufactured their own downfall. But Arsenal game, the one silver lining, they will attack us, which means we might have space on the counter-attack. But then, can I guarantee Dumb and Dumber score a goal? No. Hey, Nunes redemption arc next week. We're here for it. <laughs> this guy's a prick, blood. Never know. He's capable of it. <laughs> capable of what, blood? <laughs> Like, this you'll get one shot on target. What was the saying we know. said earlier? Broken clock, right twice a day. Next Sunday nah, he's not even right There's a bigger a chance of me getting a UK visa than Nunez scoring against Arsenal. Facts. Oh. Ain't the chance is high of you getting a UK visa. <laughs> no, it's not. Until You're 2024. Mad, no. Oh, right. No, it's not. Hey, I don't even know if they'll let him in. I'm, I'm Plus, asking. Plus, Habibi, you're not from this region. You don't know what I got ah, to do no, to step no, no, no. England. No, that's why I'm asking, because we kind of need you for the show. You know what I'm saying? That's why I've mean, I got an invested interest. 2024, they're it's... allowing Jordanians a visa on arrival. So I hope that wasn't okay. a rumor and they actually do it. Okay, Because you know, how, you know what I have to go through? I have three-page checklist. I need to have like tick, 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 tick. Yeah, they want your blood type, everything. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bro, 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 when he lands at Heathrow, they're gonna make him touch his toes, pause. 
That is crazy. 100%. Yeah, they're going to mm-hmm. search me. They're going to ask me questions. Why are you mm-hmm. here? What are you doing? Hey, just country, work for like, you just put back again podcast. <laughs> That's it. it was well, like, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah definitely yeah, on his club, lad. Right there. Okay, <laughs> brother. I'm like, oh, that okay. mad man. Oh, yeah. Facts. What are you bringing in for him? Yeah, I'll me. tell you off stream what I'll do so they will not search me, but I will not say it on stream. That's fair. That's now we're trying to get bagged. Probably, but, yeah, got Babylon, it... probably got Babylon in the chat, blood. Yeah. They're probably fans. You know what I'm saying? Salute That's to everyone. Saying, it's mad. I've taken pictures with feds. It feels so weird. In, in, in regards to the game, Hassan like, said a lot. Um, you yeah, lot Luke are, Shaw was quality. You lot done cocked him. Yeah, in regards to... Because so, I don't even know where to start because there's so much yeah. going on in the actual game. Obviously, and because Hassan, I cooked my own team as well. Hassan said a lot. And I know that, yeah, me and Hassan will argue and go back. But I know that he's not going to be on here and be delusional about Liverpool's performance and be like, oh, it was fantastic. It was wonderful. Plus, you lot got all your jokes off in them super chats. Like, you lot... You lot beat me to it. I'm not gonna lie. They you. cooked it. <laughs> you lot beat me to like it. Like 45 40 minutes, bro. They just slandered it. Club. They did, but in regards to the game, obviously going into it, there was zero, there was zero positive from a Manchester United standpoint. That's how I was looking at it. Whether you was predicting a big win, whether it was a one-two nil or three nil win, it was like there was zero positive going there. And credit to the players, they stood up. I've said this all season long. In particular, before big games or important games, don't embarrass us. That's what I'm asking for. You lot go out there and compete. And if we fall short, it's from a quality issue. And guess what? They went out there and competed. And to me, and Hassan already said this, they got a deserved point. And 100%. it just goes and it just goes to show that injuries and players not being on side. Look how many players Manchester United have missing. But yet we was an organized, competent unit at one of the toughest places to go in the country. I mean, Liverpool to put in could... Kobe Mano into that midfield is a big, big risk yeah. and, a, and, and a big, big decision. And, and, it yeah, big decision. and it paid off because one thing Mano and Amrabat both will do is actually play their positions and actually be combative in there. That's all they were. That's all we did all over the pitch was basics. From a defensive standpoint, Varane showed his quality. He was my man of the match. Like, Varane is top, top quality. Like, any... Anyone slandering him before this was crazy. You know what I'm saying? All this, all oh, playing out from the back. With Varane's our best centre back. Like, cut the shit. Like, let's just call a spade a spade. Johnny Evans. I think people just get onto him one because of his name being Johnny Evans, and two because of his age. Because when he plays, he actually plays well. And there's not been a game this season where I go, oh, Johnny Evans was awful today. He is consistently five and six out of tens. And then when you put that next to Var- a Varane, there is a solid base. So Nana surprisingly didn't have a lot to do, but what he did, he did well. Hassan mentioned the header from Van Dyke, for example, didn't push it out into a danger area, tipped it over the bar. Um, where I was most concerned was the fullbacks. I said this before the game. As soon as I seen that low and Shaw and it was Diaz and Salah, I thought defensively, they're going to get done over. But props to them both, in particular Luke Shaw, who I'm super critical of when he faces a Mo Salah or a Saka or a, a, a very athletic right winger. Did the business. Midfield, we already mentioned. Props to Kobe Maino from a defensive standpoint, very, very good. Um, on the ball, very good. Amrabat, defensively good. On the ball, not so much. Not not too good. McTominay, missing per usual. Only good to defend set pieces. That's Scott McTominay. It's the only thing he adds is height to the team to clear um, set pieces into the box. Our attack is non-existent anyway. Even though we did create the best chance of the game and Hoyland should have scored, but I didn't expect too much from our attack. So what was the biggest surprise to me was us being defensively resilient. So props to the players for that. Um, in regards to Liverpool, yeah, like Hassan mentioned, or oh, Manchester United are getting too much credit. We're not going to do that. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. Everything leading up to this game was pointing to not only Liverpool were going to win the game, how many Liverpool were going to win the game. So when you fall short of that, you are going to get criticised and Manchester United are going to get praised. Like the Super Chat said, the guy said, oh, United playing like Luton Town. Just for history lesson for anybody. Even when Manchester United were on, in their pump and we were the best team in the league, one of the best teams in Europe, sometimes the best team in Europe under Fergie with some of the best Premier League sides we've ever seen, we would go to Anfield and play like that. We've never, ever gone to Anfield and played open football under Sir Alex Ferguson with our best teams and our best individuals. You know why? It was bare one nils. Bare one nils, nil nils, etc. It became a point. There's a quote Sir Alex Ferguson said, this game is too big to lose. So gaining a point there, even if they're mid-table and we're chasing a league title, I always looked at it as a good point. And that doesn't change 
just because we're in the mud and Liverpool are flying high up the table. So it's always a good point. So let's just dispel that whole myth that is, and that's any big six away game. You take a point away from home. Of course, context adds into that if you are the better side. But away from home, I'm, I have no issues. And what I like about the performance was it was a well-deserved point. Many times I've been on this very podcast and we've won games and I've criticised Manchester United for the performance, saying the performance is not good enough, it's not sustainable. So then I can't be a hypocrite when we get a well-deserved point at a tough place to go and we perform well and we deserve the point. I can't then criticise them for it. What was we supposed to go and do? Play open and expansive football. That's on Liverpool. Did Liverpool contribute to their own downfall? Yes, because their attacking players were not on it. However, did we also stifle Liverpool? Yes. Because the expectancy was them to win. People were talking all oh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nil. Pick a number. Yeah, who said fuck him? Four, four. He's gonna break the record. He's going for ten. He's gonna break, gonna break record, Leicester's record in him. Is he even looking at record breaking? Tom Little was talking about I want six, so I can just say four, five, six, seven, eight to complete the set. Look what man was talking yeah, about. AGT was like, I've never been this confident going into a game at, against this United. Is it. Um, uh, it's and, dangerous when you feel that is. way. So when it's like that, Lewis, you can't fall short and then not expect mm -hmm. to be critiqued and also not give us praise. And I'm not hearing this in regards to all oh, we sat deep in a low block. We've been playing in a low block all season and getting beat and giving up chances anyway. Facts. Copenhagen scored four against us. Facts. What are you talking about here? It's facts, Copenhagen. Man. Copenhagen. There isn't no one in the chat who can name me three Copenhagen players before this season. What are we talking about I here? Still can't name three, but... It's like Bomb have just scored three <laughs> against us at our home pitch. We have been conceding chances all season just because teams haven't been good enough to take them. And Hassan's mentioned that. Many a time after a Manchester United win, or if the opposition had a player that could score or had quality in attack. So I'm not hearing that when they have one of the best attacks in the league on paper and it's one of the fiercest places and they were so confident going into the game. Um, as for Van Dijk's comments, I stand by it, how I look at when people, fans, complain about um, officials. Do better and do more. Don't blame us because you couldn't break us down. That's not our fault. We're there to make it as difficult as possible for you. What are we supposed to play an open, expansive game for you lot to run through us? Let pause, like we did last season. And look what happened. That was very silly. To go to Anfield and play open football and not be defensively sound. Like, that's just complete stupidity and, and, and naive. And had we had done that and we had got beat, what would the conversation be? Oh, he should have played more defensive. He should have played Amrabat. He should have played a double pivot. They should have sat in a low block. What are we talking about here? Like, it's about being sensible and playing and being smart. So with the Van Dyke thing, that's just salty. And he can hold that because his attackers didn't do what he was supposed to do. <laughs> what he should have said, it's salty. All he had to say was, you know what? We should have played better. We should have done more. Where's the accountability? And I'm not saying, I always say this, never criticise publicly. So he didn't have to go the whole nine with the attackers. But all he had to say is, we didn't perform well enough as a team. Why mention Manchester United? Well, it's because it burns you. Because you know, this is one of the worst Manchester United sides you've ever seen. And you know, the manager's under mad pressure. We had mad injuries. People want to talk about Onana in goal, terrible goalkeeper. Johnny Evans, Luke Shaw, Dalo, McTominay out there. We're missing, how many players are missing? Hoyland is, is double or whatever he is. Ganacho's only a kid. Anthony, one of the worst wingers ever. And you can't break this down. On paper, this is one of the worst Manchester United sides ever gone to Anfield. Not only did we get a point, we got a deserve point. It's not like Liverpool peppered the goal. Yeah, but Van Dijk is just frustrated. Well, He's just mad. And I get that. He is frustrated. But again, what it ties into... I'll, I'll be real with you. Players are probably oh. given worse press conferences after games 100 like this. A hundred percent. He didn't say anything lying. I'm very real. He he, didn't I agree. He, did, he didn't... I agree. He, he didn't did, say He anything. didn't. It was just a bit of copium. And yeah, it was, just, it, it, was, it was. You said it there, yeah. Hassan. For he was really angry. He was. he was mad. But yeah, of course he's angry. I don't, I don't blame him. I don't blame but him. You no, but, but Loki, I'd prefer my captain to say that than him go like... Our I players don't. are this, or we didn't do like. Nah, because then people are just gonna rip the... them. It's another thing to I take don't. the piss off. You know why? Because it's a sad. You know what that shows? That's the sad. The frustration. You're you're the captain of the team. I say this all the time. I've said it to you. I say it to other people, especially being the captain of the control your emotions. I'm saying you're not a fan, Van Dyke. You are the captain of the football club. Your team just failed to beat one of the worst matches United fans. Like don't say that. Control as much as you should have done better. That's it. We preferred that. We don't I like it. Why is he acting like all the guards a good I, captain? Now? I, 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 I get why no, but he's, he's like, not. No, but he knows he, he knows how to carry himself in public. Yes, he's about and the reason Van Dyke, why Van, Van Dyke literally had a Van Dyke. If you've seen Boondocks, he had a nigger moment. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, shout he out to real one. He had a yeah, he had a had and you can't have and you can't have that when you're in that position. You can't. You can't have that. You're not me, bro. 
I'm not Facts. them Sky Sports shoots, blood. When they go, yes. oh, hello, hi. I ain't got to do that, blood. You understand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, my thing. Yeah, you know my thing already is, Immy. Yeah, so, you're going to say how you say people it. People on the scale of everything. And to just say as it is, you should have like, done better. It's, it's like, it's like Elise. Because of the way he talks, he sounds like man. Don't never mm. make him a captain. Because then, oh, okay. I've never understand? heard him talk. And that's where he we sounds stand. like the man them. Like, oh, does he sound and, like man them? Okay. Like Eze, Eze yeah. sounds like a nerd. And Elise sounds like one of the man them. Like they, like, like, they was doing some um, some celebration thing. Like, they were doing the celebrations, mm. like, for when they clipped them in um, TNT Sports and Sky Sports. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Like, I've seen the at least they've done, like, some gunman thing. And he's just like, whoa, bro, mm. I'm just doing my thing. Like, and you could tell, like, he, he's one of the man them. Like, yeah, it's like yeah, Saka. Yeah, yeah. Saka's a good duke, blood. Saka's yeah. a good duke, blood. You yeah, can yeah, tell yeah. he's a good duke. You understand? Mm. But when you look at Smith Rowe, you're like, yo, he's got a little, yo, oh, he's telling me, GG, yeah, you're done. Yeah, 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 yeah. he's on, one of the man, them, you just, just character, just personality. Exactly. And, and that's where it stands with Van Dijk is, even though he is emotional, I agree with that, and he didn't say anything wild. Control your emotions. And the reason why Keane's responded like that, because Keane's been in that situation many a time and had to control his emotions. He, in sometimes has gone over the top. People don't know this. I think it was after we won the treble, it was either the year 2000 or 2001. And we got knocked out by Bayern Munich afterwards. And he came out in an interview and said, maybe it's the end of the road for this team, including myself, because he's holding himself and his team accountable. Bear in mind, I think that's a bit much, but that's how keen is. I say this all the time, hold your team accountable. Don't blame the opposition. Yeah, well, that's don't the blame. Error. That's the problem. But, but regards to even if he was in this era, even though but I just said, I think nowadays are sensitive and shit. Like it ain't, it ain't like Again, Roy Keane. It's not about, it's not about well, being like Roy. He's just away from his own players. It's not, like, it's not being so about. Creative. It's not being. It's not about being about Roy Keane. That's not what I'm saying. It's talking about like Troop said, carrying yourself, holding yourself accountable. That's all I'm asking Van Dyke to do. All he had to say there, in my opinion, is we. You don't even have to blame the attackers or individuals. We were not good enough as a team. We will do better next week. Legit, that's all man had to say. Don't blame the opposition. Don't blame officials. I can't stand it. Because you had 90 plus minutes to impact this game. Everything in that game is in Liverpool's favour. You're the better team, with the better manager, with the better players, with the better, with the better bench. What more do you need to go and win the game? And like I said, we got to deserve point. It's not like we was, Onada was making save after save and there was loads of shots cleared off the line. And that's where his frustration lies is because look, Yo, that's on you. Don't blame us. Same with fans as well. Oh, Manchester United fans celebrating a draw. No one's celebrating a draw. I'm happy we got a, we got a deserved point. Now I'm hoping we can kick on from that. Will we? It's a whole different conversation because I watched us beat Chelsea and then go and lose to Bournemouth a few days later. So we'll see. But overall, happy with the point. Manchester United fans, enjoy the point. That's all I'd say. Enjoy the point. Don't get tar carry too carried away. Glad to shut these men up as well. Is that I agree with him completely, by the way. Listen, enjoying the point is 100% an, an okay thing to do. Same way I was I was very good when we won the, the, the point that the Etihad. You know, listen, state, there are three stadiums in this league that are difficult to go to. Etihad, Anfield and Emirates. Simple. If you get a draw away at them clubs, that's not a bad result. Let's just cut the bullshit here. Emirates have developed into that step by step. It's not like Etihad Anfield level because that's like four years, five years built up of like teams not winning there and shit. But like getting a point away at, at, at Anfield is of is a good result for bro for 19 teams. I think if you had if you had a private conversation with Pep Guardiola himself and told him would you take a point away at Anfield, he would probably would say yes. So no, because it's, because like, that's the let's not act like oh and my god, they got a point away well, at Anfield. And, it was on the the only I, disagreement I have with you, actually, I'm. By the way, the way you spoke, the way I spoke, we actually agree on ninety nine percent of the things. Do, the yeah. only thing with Van Dyke, I'd say, is he's just taking pressure off his players because it's a sensitive ass generation. They wouldn't have wanted them to criticize them publicly and shit. I understand you said don't even say anything wild, which is like just say you know we didn't do enough on the day, blah blah blah. All he's doing is essentially taking pressure away from the players that were, were not good enough on the day on the pitch and just going like, yo, United didn't try attack us. He's just taking pressure away from yeah, the players. That's all. Support, like, again, that, yeah, that's the one thing we do like disagree on. Because like I said, I'm all about holding myself and my team accountable. If you're as good as you say you are, if you are going to go take the title of Pep and City, if you're going to take the title of City and Arsenal, you have to beat Manchester United at home. Simple as that. You should you be, man, especially this Manchester United at home. That's on your team. You're the captain. Hold your players. And again, let me just clarify this. Don't slander them publicly. Don't say it's just say, we need to do better. And you lot, anyone who's watched this podcast for long enough has heard me speak on this, but more so it's been officials. You have 90 plus minutes, like I said, to impact this football match. Be us. That was the whole conversation was not only a Liverpool going to win by how much. Pick a number. 
between four and ten. That's pretty much what it was. And we got a well-deserved point. Hey, props to the players. And it dispels, like I said, this whole myth as well in regards you need to have the perfect all 11 players fit to be an organised unit. If Manchester United played like that pretty much all season from a defensive standpoint, guess what? I would just show up and be like, I know our attack's washed because we're going to win. You'd get a lot more results, to be fair, if we played exactly. that way. Yeah. Because we and did that's it. what I'm asking for. Let me call out this fraud, Cotiolo, saying sensitive generation like you, Sam. You fucking fraud. There are 70 super chats insulting me and I'm still here. I ain't talking about all oh, being sensitive generation. Have some shame, man. Have some shame. Fraud. That's why you have K as your profile picture. Before we move on to table topping Arsenal, you get me? There you we are. Got four more. We've got to run four quickly. Big up facts. He says triple this. captain Salah. Terrible hey, Sam, advice. You owe many people apologies. Any males watching this? I do. I said, I said this? after the game, the people who I owe most apologies to is the actually FPL the FPL people. player. Yes. Yep. I yes, said the FPL no, I'm not going to apologize for the performance because that ain't yeah, my fault. FPL. Can't the you FPL. Play for the FPL. Yeah. But FPL, I'm sorry. If you triple captain Salah, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry. Big up Javid. He just dropped that and bounced. Big up Abu. He says, hey, hey, Mr. George, how much you pay for the noodles guy? 84. Nah, too much money. He no bueno. You know why it's not 84? Because we ain't paid any add-ons yet. And I doubt we'll pay add-ons the way this fucking idiot is playing. So, Big up Rex again. Your thoughts about Dallow's <clears throat> double yellow. Yeah, that's the only thing you didn't really yeah. talk about. Yeah, the ref, because I forgot because there was so much going on. Has Is the ref doing too much? Yes. But it ties in to what I said about Van Dyke and not blaming officials and not blaming the opposition. Dalo, you got booked for dissent. Once you carry on, even though I don't think you should have been sent off, you've given the referee an excuse. It's like daft challenges. If you go in high and, and on, on a tackle and the ref sends you off, even if I don't think it's a send, don't give the referees an excuse. I keep saying this all the time. Don't give no, referees an excuse. That's wrong. That's wrong. No, I, I agree. No, again. I legit said that. I think the referees. No, but why are Premier League referees so incompetent? Like, why, because why, give, why give two yellows there? That's because so dumb. The first yellow, I understand. But you know what, what yes. Michael Oliver should have no. done? As much as you're right, but, but, but here's the fucked up part, right? I'm a Liverpool no. fan. But at the same time, Darwin Nunes moaned in the first half. Using that no. logic, it should have been double yellow as well. It should have been. We would have been better off without Nunes on the pitch to begin with. But that's the, besides the point. <laughs> point <laughs> is, might be more open. Hey, hey, point is flawless. What I'm saying. Bro, I have, you know, I have two two problems here. Number Go. one, I feel like Premier League referees cannot handle the big occasion whatsoever. Mm -hmm. You know all Michael Oliver had to do after the first yeah. yellow? Take Dalo to the side, go like, calm the fuck down. I don't want to yeah. send you off. Khalas, keep it stepping. Yes. Dalo, I understand you're criticizing constructively. Don't moan, yeah. don't bitch. I get all that. Yeah. But at the same time, you can't give two consecutive yellows I for low-key the same thing. I, which I, is I, the crazy part is, I agree with you, but you said it there. Why are referees so incompetent? We're asking for somebody, we're asking for people to be competent who are incompetent. How many more decisions do we need? We can we we could do a whole show. Get Forget Italian about, shit, about, about referees guys. and them being incompetent. Bro, we're about you to talk this. about a referee. Yeah, like, you, yeah, like, oh you, you, we all know him. Bro, we need like Italian said, refs, German oh refs. Sam, I, Italian I, I always say this. The one thing, you can get an individual from each club, all 20 clubs in the Premier League. The one thing they will all agree on is that referees are shocking. That's the one yeah, thing absolutely. they all, oh. all agree on all of the time except so city is, except city because they always get decisions their way to be fair I'm I'm, very, I'm, very I'm, yeah with the low i know in a Spurs game yeah yeah like with the low should he have been sent off absolutely not but you know what this referee you know what referees are like don't say anything, the referee decision to make the prick's gonna yes. make it nine times out of ten yes and again hassam you said we need them to be competent they've shown us they're incompetent they're not listen get was, they, yeah, they can't get right Get the German enough. referees, get Italian referees or some shit. I'm done Lewis, with these fuckers. They have four or five looks at the same challenge that I've seen once on a watch along and go, yeah, that's a red card. And they still mess it. They don't even yeah, think to change the angles sometimes. They just want to show one angle and say, see, that angle says it's a red card. So send them off. We did something. Incompetence, man. Like the low has to, you have to, even though it's not a red card, be smart. Be much more clever. But anyway, it happened in a time where it doesn't affect the game anyway. That's yeah, yeah, the... I hear that. I hear that. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like 94th minute. Like it's just... Arsenal. Fucking finally. Yeah, man. <laughs> you understand? Top of the table. Back again. You understand? Arsenal 2. <laughs> Brighton 0. 
and tell <laughs> me this is your fault. Yeah, hi ho, hi ho. It's up the table. We fucking go, blood. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. Back again. Yeah, Mr. Top of the League, blood. Yeah, Mr. Hold that. You fucking seagulls, blood. Yeah? You little pussy holes, blood. Your fucking beach is shit. You ain't even got no fucking sand. You got pebbles, you prick. I can't even walk on your beach barefoot, blood. I gotta put sandals on, bro. You understand? You got the most crackheads in your city as well, blood. You lot, that is the bando. Brighton is the bando, bro. Your peer, piss poor as well, blood. Clacton peer, shits on your peer, blood. You understand? Hold that, you pussy holes. Now, Lewis just basically said, your peer, shit. Your beach, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian can hold that. Knew they were going to get battered anyway. Like, yeah, they no, have beaten yeah. us three years. Like, they were three years. Three, the last three games at Emirates. Yeah, I said it. Yeah, I said it. I'm going to touch on it, blood. You get me? I'm going to, you understand? Mm. You know, 100K, you know the vibe. But, um, oh, let's go. Oh, yeah, let's go. You had better win. Yeah, you know the vibe. You get me? But, um, um video dropped late as well, blood. The video, they put it out this morning. It didn't even drop last night. That's the maddest oh, thing. Geez. But um, yeah, troops do that. Everyone, astronomical numbers, man. Love that. Nah, man. Love look at everyone that's 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 yeah, me that tunes in, blood. You know, I love you like cook food. But um, I love you like cook food. That's yeah, blood. You know the real yard man saying, blood. We love on like cook food. You understand? Know but um, I'm gonna use that at a later date. To yeah, blood. Let me. My mum always says it to me, blood. We love you like cook food. You look a blood clot child. I'm like, yeah, man. You don't know. Except <laughs> fish, no? Huh? Except fish, right? Yeah, I mean, I need I'm fish, blood. Yeah, you don't eat yak. That's crazy. You don't like fish. But Dog, you see me? Guy. I'm a man that I smell my food, innit? You understand? And fish, not fish, not smell nice. Which fish smell nice? True. I'll tell you which. You understand? One, and I, I, I remember I'm Jamaican, so I grew up in a yard where yeah, yeah. fish that's in your yard and smell like a boot. The clothes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, but not all of them. them. Let me tell you, there's three. There's three troops that don't even taste or smell like fish. Shrimp, crab, lobster. Those three, you're good. Yeah, my girl. You have to try prawns. one day. You have prawns to is fishy. My girl makes prawns like yeah, because I love train like prawns. I don't like prawns. Yeah, yeah. get like the, the, yeah, the, the sardines the, the... and them thing. They're tin of sardines. No, no, that's no, that's, that's bad. That's bad. But get like uh, the small, the small <laughs> shrimp, the pink ones. They don't even smell. Like they got rums in the chat. No, I don't like escovitch. I had escovitch at the wedding, blood, but I never had none. Listen, nasa, snapple and all them thing. There, where is it? Catfish and fry fish. Nasa, I mean, I like none of them thing there. You understand? Like, I like, oh, I like, I, I like macro. You must say mad. Bear, bear J, last man in the chat, blood. You understand? Oh, uh, bear, free day. I'm with the shrimp. I like macro, like shrimp. Macro is oh, filled fire. with uh, scale, Lobster. not scale. What do they call it? Like bones and shit. You have to just pick through all the bones yeah, and shit pick. as well. Macro has too many bones. Yeah, that's mad. But, um, Kai Havertz blood. You understand? Lewis is saying purple patch. I don't think it's a purple patch, bro. Yeah, man, because you drank the Kool Aid, man. Yeah, man. Nah, I ain't drank the Kool Aid, blood. Loud that, blood. I ain't drank the Kool Aid. Nah, man, you, you're getting that. Man. I ain't drank no fucking Kool Aid. Nah, all that. bro, he's actually performing at a level, blood. Like, he's actually. I think. I think we have. You know, like when you unlock a Pokemon. I think like. Arteta has, evo has, he, has Havertz, he evolved, yeah? So you're saying he's gone from Charmander to Charmeleon? Is that what yeah. you're saying? He's gone from. Charizard, and and Charizard yeah. I thought Charizard, it was a nice little five, six out of ten before the goal. I didn't do anything wrong, but I like, didn't really you're wow a, me. You're a hater, blood. Don't lie, blood. Yeah, like, I'm, of course blood. I am. He was. He's, very, a, he's yeah. Arsenal, bro. Come on. He was. He was. He was blood. Kai Havertz, blood. Come on, he had spread bro. hate and negativity. Like, you know, <laughs> like this guy's a clown, blood. <laughs> like you have to realize, yeah. You see, like you see, like when when he first came to the club, yeah, he was hiding from the ball. There was no confidence. There was no swagger. He he was like his head was down like pause you get me he wouldn't have had his chest out you understand now it's like I'm seeing a different player blood I'm I'm like right so he's showing for more passes bro he's he's his involvement is more as well he's like bro that goal he scores yeah three three weeks ago he don't score that blood that was a oh yeah three years at Chelsea he never scores that that I was, was shot that was pure confidence bro you understand shout out Eddie and Ketty as well you get me. Make sure you go watch the vlog. That's out now. I said in the vlog when he came on, yeah, I was like, oh my God, we're bringing on Nketiah, blood, like. But then that, 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 that ball he played through to Havertz, blood. Fantastic ball. You get me? Havertz done what he had to do. Gabby Jesus as well. He needed that goal, blood. He's only got two goals in the Premier League. That's not good enough. You get me? That's why he's better First, than Nuni. Did Havertz have the least touches in the squad? I'm not sure. This guy's proper going Lewis, digging, isn't it? Boss. This, thing. He's this guy's played going well, digging. Like, four games. No, no, he, I, I'm just reading the chat. I'm just reading Listen, the chat. It's three, four games. Like, you, guys are no, but you man are not like 
Do you, do you man, I watched like I watched the whole game, bro. You man, are gonna watch the whole. Oh, yeah, game. I, I, I didn't watch it. along. Well, I hate along. You get me, and uh, yeah, he's got a big what? up for the victory as well. It keeps Brighton four points away from us. They're within touching distance. <laughs> oh, oh, you what? You man, really think you're on the high holding in it? Yeah, yeah, we need we needed you guys to do a little favor. It was necessary evil. Yeah. It's just that Sam let me down, so the weekend wasn't great. But you right. told me you wanted me to draw half screenshots. Don't even try. No, really find the screenshots. Find the screenshots. Okay, no problem. Don't delete any messages. Nice Why do you the <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. I was saying either way I win, but I've kind of lost. Kind of lost. Yeah, exactly. I told you pick your battles, you do well listen. But the first yes, half, so yeah. The first half show we need a striker. 15 shots, three on target. Brighton had no shots. We were like, we swarmed them, bro. It was like SWAT was at the door. And you know, like when, you know, have you seen them videos when you got that dickhead fed and he's trying to lick through the door and he can't bust through the door? Yep. He's yeah, giving yeah, it like yeah, eight, yeah, nine, yeah. ten licks, blood. Yeah, he's there like, door. do you understand? There's this mad steel door. That's what we were doing, blood. We're literally there like, douche, 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 douche. Barrier would not open, blood. You understand? The water would not, the, there was no burst water main. The water main was solid, blood. Because you see Brighton, they had shape. Pause. Cody Gallop shape, you understand? They kept yeah, yeah. their shape oh, at all yeah. times, blood. Every time we got in behind them, Another pause, bud, because we only got behind, man. You understand? Hey, yo, that's a great pause. Yeah, that's a I mean, we have to get that in every time, blood. You understand? Yeah, pause. yeah, what do you mean? Every time we every time we got in behind them, Dunk was there, or they had this six foot five Ed Sheeran looking motherfucker at centre back as well, blood. Like it was, they were making Van Heck. Like, yeah, him. Like they made so many last challenge, last challenge, like last minute challenge blocks. Mm. It was. It, it, like they done well, bro. Like we had, like, we got our goal from a set piece, bro. Our first goal came from a set piece, but the Gabby J, Gabby Jesus that came from a set piece, we done well. You get me, but we need a striker, bro. You understand? Like if we, if that was against, I like, want Tony uh, now as well. I know something's gonna happen, but I want him, bro. I'm I'm hearing rumors that yeah, me Tony is willing to pick Arsenal. Arsenal's his first choice. Kind of like the Usher thing where he's saying Chelsea. There's rumors that we've reached out to his agent. Big up Oshiman. I know Kalechi, that's his best friend, blood, in Nigeria and them thing there. He's out at fucking Mor he's out in Marrakesh living life, blood. Big up Kalechi. But for me, yeah, bring my Caribbean brother over. Yes, blood. You understand? Premier League proven. He's got a point to prove. He can he's do everything. He can do everything that Jesus does. Plus more. And but score Tony, goals. But Tony, if you're watching, don't go Arsenal, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, come on, I guess. Yeah, so. I have no blood clot, Tony. My brother. Yeah, I, I told you. I'm I'm here, yeah. Tony, man, you see this? This can be yours, man. No, nah, have Tony, you know Tony on the back. Nah. Ch Chelsea's a necessary yeah. evil, Tony, man. And you don't have to go too far. It's from, it's from west to west. There you go, man. That's what you got to think about. You don't have Yo, to. You wanna, you wanna live life, or you wanna just be in in misery like that Eritrean over there, blood? Or you want <laughs> <come laughs> misery? Do you want here, these? Do you want we're these medals? We're eating good over here, blood. In North London, see business. You won't get these. Oh, bro, we're eating right, blood. You understand? We are eating right. You wanna win number three, or do you wanna try? You see them man there? The man that eat, the man that eat mackerel and sardine, blood. Do you, you want to try with number three, or do you want to try and fail to get that, number one? Did you see that picture when they said name the club? Champions like League or Europa League? Make your pick. Like it's the a, same answer. Like a Lamborghini part outside of a trap house, blood. That's we are bro. European heritage. That's we know how to go to the top of Europe. You get me? These men only know how to lose. Good, yeah. But then you think you come think to Chelsea if you want to know how to win. You don't want that Tony blood. You know that man there will start if if you miss a goal. You get me? You know your Twitter. You can't go on Twitter with that man there, blood. You understand? With us, you can go on Twitter, blood. You're safe, blood. You get me. Don't worry, bro. Just get yeah, a hat trick against Tottenham like the last guy they joined. I told you, Wakanda, blood. Yeah, you know the team, blood. All I'm saying is, hey, hey, restructure, DOF, new manager, Tony. You know the vibes, man. You know the vibes. That's one you won't be able to hijack, blood. The Tony do. I think if it was a fucking usher, man. I just talked to a troop. This said troops are crazy. What? He's talking about the Lamborghini thing, I think. I think. Oh, he's he's. No, he's talking about the Twitter comments. Oh, he's talking it's true, so lad. Wrong. He's gonna have to deactivate no, his Twitter. Imagine, God forbid, he missed the penny in the last minute at the shed end. Yeah, he's gonna yeah, deactivate yeah, that yeah. night, blood. Yeah, yeah, facts. Yo. He's gonna deactivate me. Hey, All the, yo, the whole EDL will be up, blood. Bear Tommy Robinson's in his team. It's happened to both our players. It's happened to both our players. It happened to us at England, though. I swear. So no, I had to buy your game tweets. Oh, but Ali by your was um because um. I don't agree with it as well. You get me? Let me get that in, blood. I'm not trying to defend it, blood. But oh yeah, 
Yeah, he done absolute madness, blood. I don't agree with it though. You get me? Like they shouldn't. He like man should have, I'm not even gonna say that, but I don't want to get cancelled. But yeah. Um... Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I'll, I'll start sending for that pussy, old blood. You understand, blood? He's been collecting right now, but I get the drop root point. <laughs> is he? Hey, who's this? What happened? What I miss? Adi Bayo. Oh, see. Oh, mate. But um, we were talking Seen a bit about. Okay, right? Yeah, yeah. We were talking a bit about referees. The referee in our game, blood. His name was um, Tim Robinson, blood. Now, you lot obviously we're we 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 we're big wrestling fans on on this pod. You lot remember Charles Robinson, yeah? Yep. Oh, the referee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I the referee. This referee yeah. was co as corrupt as him. You know when they try to invade WWF? <laughs> yeah. And then like Rock would have the pin, and it'll be like one, two. Yeah, he yeah, looks yeah. you dead in the eyes like, nope. No, they can't. Next thing you see, like Paul Heyman or Shane O'Mac or, or, or fucking <laughs> Stephanie. <Booker> yeah, <laughs> Booker T still chair. Bow! You understand? Next thing, the thing's gone left, blood. You get me? But um, You yeah, already know you're going to get chafted with a referee decision next week as well. Just Bro, the referee, at old, at the referee who has been appointed for the Arsenal, well, Liverpool, because they're the home team, Liverpool, Arsenal game. It's the pussy -o that was on VAR for the Villa game. Who? So, you know, uh, you know, we played Villa and then um, Havertz goal got disallowed. They never gave us a penalty for Matty Cash handball. Jesus got booted the way Foden did boot up. Uh, um, 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 uh, uh, what's his name? Oh, like? uh, uh, what's his name? The one that got the first goal. Matisse, not Matisse. Matete. 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 just called Mat Matete Matisse. Yeah, I called him <laughs> Matisse, blood. That's not. Josh. <laughs> <laughs> no, because Matisse, man. Hey, shout out. Yeah, that's that. Yeah, but um, yeah, we've got that. We we got that fucker there, blood. You get me? But this referee that we had was was absolutely shocking, bro. They were kicking the shit out of Saka, and we got the first yellow card, blood. I couldn't believe it. He booked Arteta. Arteta didn't even do nothing, bro. Arteta didn't do nothing, blood. Like I'm actually being honest and very deadly serious now. There's a vendetta. He like, oh, oh, okay. So Arteta didn't do anything and was getting criticized. He didn't do nothing, blood. He didn't do nothing. Hey, sounds he like do... me and this sounds like me and this pod, but go on, carry on. We move. Yeah, yeah, had a okay. flawless moment, blood. I, 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 I looked at it and I was like, right, that's how flawless this feel on the pod. Blood, way, blood. That's exactly how I feel. feel. That's how flawless must be feeling, blood. Vendel? He's just standing there, blood. Man, really man his own bitch is getting clotted, blood. Yellow card. I said yellow card for what, blood? Donnie was just standing there. Didn't ever get my technical box. He never done nothing aggressive. I couldn't believe it, blood. This is not a conspiracy. Troops is 100 percent right. The referees have it out for Arteta. 100%. They do, bro. That like, there is a. How long may it continue? Yeah, for oh, boo hoo. Blood. Blood. Fuck blood. both of you, blood. Oh, boo hoo. Now shout out, boo hoo, blood. blood. You get me, blood. Yeah, shout out, boo hoo. Hey, boo hoo. Oh, fuck your boo hoo. Blood. Hey, boo hoo. Yeah. There you go, yeah. man. That's, 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 that's a nice promo. That's a nice promo for boo hoo. Hey, real quick, go. blood. You know what I'm saying? But shout fucking. Yeah, I personally think there is a vendetta against Arsenal now, blood, with the referees. <laughs> I do, blood. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, you don't know me. I'm not Ty, bro. I'm not blaming yeah, the rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, not bro. doing that. Bro, I've been, I've been beating this drum for like six years, bro. Like, we've been getting bullied by the referees it's since been, 2013. It's, it's been I don't raided. like it, blood. It's been raided. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ty. Ciao, Ty, but this guy's chopping us off. This is the Tom Henning of Raybo days. <laughs> Fuck that egghead, Yo, by the people way. People need to oh, realise it goes back to what Hassan was saying with the Delo situation. Referees are just <laughs> incompetent. There's no vendetta. They're just bad at their job. Yeah, but why is but your how solution can you that player... Bad? Yeah, because but why you're is your that solution bad? flawless? Your cool. solution is players shouldn't make mistakes because the referees are incompetent. My solution is let's cool. fix the incompetence. How about we fire all these fuckers and bring I, 20 new referees in? How about I that? am with you, but again, the incompetence is from the top because it's the FA hierarchy. Are they going to do what you said? I agree. No. I agree. Unfortunately, I would love to. If everyone banded together and was like, let's get rid of all these refs and bring in new people, and there should be some form of punishment for poor performances for referees. Everyone else is punished. Players are punished for poor performances as our managers as well. So why are referees who are also impacting the game? And it shouldn't be. You go to the championship for one week and then you come back. So my point is, deal with the situation as Sack best these as you man. can. Fuck the motion. Yeah. If I'm in my job and I'm slacking, yeah? Man, I'm sacking, man, bro. There's yeah, facts, no, oh, facts. we're yeah, going yeah, yeah. to yeah. give you time yeah. off. Yeah, you could go to like this level and then, yeah, pattern up. Nah, you're, you're fired, bro. There's your P45. <laughs> go sign on, yeah? Go down job centre. Get your job seekers allowance. Get me. You right? Hold that, you, right? you understand? These men are getting demoted to championship. And then you're fucking up championship games as well, blood.
That's the worst thing. They'll make a mistake at the highest level, and then they'll mistake. Then they'll make a mistake at a lower level, respectfully. Yeah, in this, in that, and that's what it is. There needs to be something. So all I'm saying when I talk about players and say because you know they deal with the situation you have at hand. That's what it is. You know what it's, it's like working in a workplace with someone who you know is a dickhead. Just don't get involved with them. Even if they're dead in the wrong. Like we've all worked in places where it's like, oh, this guy is Egypt. Or oh, certain bosses are Egypt. I'm like, you know what? Let me just not even talk to you so we don't get into anything. Because nothing good. That, like that's where it stands. It's It shouldn't be like that for the players. But that's where we are at. Because we see terrible decisions. Game in, game out, week in, week out. And it will happen next weekend. There'll be a bad decision somewhere. Not necessarily Liverpool Arsenal, but in one of the games. No, 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 no,
not with that one bit. He's Big a lot better Miller. now. That's one thing I will give him. He's a lot better, to be fair to him. Just, just so we're fair to Dom, he's improved massively. That's the one thing I will say. From six years ago when he was like at Liverpool, Chelsea and stuff, he's gotten better. No, nah, you're good still. <laughs> Big up Todd, man. That's my dog. Who has more missed shots? Morata with Chelsea or Liverpool <laughs> versus Man United? <laughs> Big up Lee. I don't know about that, boy. Big up Lee, the ref for... Liverpool versus Arsenal is Chris Cavanaugh, the Wallad. Yeah, he's the one that was on um, VAR in the Villa game, bro. Big up Todd again. All I want for Christmas is Jose and Roma advance UEFA Champions League. UCL? I don't think they're in the Champions League, though. I think they're in Europa. Yeah, yeah so... they're in Europa, bro. Yeah, so, yeah. maybe. Yeah, big up Roma anyway. Big up Jose. You know, Todd, Todd's Chelsea, so he ain't been watching football too tough this season, isn't it? Yeah, no, and no, Jose no. won't work with Chelsea anyway because the average age is 13, so it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. No, no, you never know. Three point oh, maybe. Hey, hey, get Mourinho back to the bridge. I, I want to see that, man. Big, big up my goat. Fuck. Big up M R R. He says F A equals four Arteta. It definitely don't, blood, because they are not four Arteta, bro. You get me. Ferguson's well, association. That's what that shit stands for. Right there. Hey, man's retired. They should, and you they should call it. Nah, nah, nah. You see, it's F A. Yeah, we just yeah. gotta do it from backwards. Pause. A F. Absolute frauds. Um, Fuck. <laughs> I would. Yeah, trust me, blood. Big up Yasser. Man City find 120k while certain clubs get apologies. Facts. Well, uh, if you break, if you're switching the FA backwards, man, it's not actual. It's, it's you know what I'm saying. It's not. What did you What did you say? It was absolute frauds. Nah, man. They're against Arsenal. Actual factuals. That's what it is. You're a Let's prick, go. Man. <laughs> Lewis, <laughs> you got yourself a win. That Let's is go, why Lewis. you are on the top row, Let's my brother. Go. Let's Welcome go. to the top row family. Um, it was an absolute... spent one billion to be tenth, and now he's being celebrated. That's oh, big up Lee. More. Lewis is a big wallet. Put <laughs> <laughs> up that super chat right now. Big I, I Lee. On My you, bro. What that Champions is League that is for your football club <laughs> or UCL? Come from that fraud. <sighs> Disgrace. Oh my god. It is good to be back on the top, bro. It's good to be up here. Hopefully, we stay up here as well. First off was a bag of crap. Like I will say that first and foremost. We're just lucky we played Sheffield United. Like it was so stinky. I was seeing all sorts of stupid the scorpion kicks in our own half. Players trying to dunk on each other, kick and run straight at Sheffield United players, the zero movement off the ball, lack of incisive passing, and all sorts. It was just Kaiseido just keeping things ticking and that was about Gallagher. it big up to big up to, oh no he did nothing he did nothing but big up to potch i will say that because he switched things up at half time moved um interchange palmer and sterling we we looked a lot better in the final third and they end up linking up together for the first goal jackson and palmer had a little bit of awareness for the second goal because that was just a hot mess leading up to it but they just kept play going on and we played sheffield united team bottom of the table worst away record in the league Worst goal scored away in the league. Kind of got away with the fact that we started so slowly in the first half. But you know what? I'll take it. We, we still have a good run of games coming up. We have the potential to build on this run of form. Even though I said that two games ago and we lost two on the bounce. But we still have the capability to do it. Just just, just do it. That, that's all I could ask for. Just a little bit more movement in the final third. Might have been a bit nice in the first half. But we played a team that offered nothing. Petrovic debuted, and I literally have nothing to say about his debut. He had nothing to deal with the entire match. Could just pulled up a program, got a beer, and just sat with everyone in Matthew Harding. He had no job because it's Sheffield United, respectfully. They're not going to offer anything. It's just when are you going to break them down? Persistence paid off with us, but it's not really a lot to be gassed about. I'm just glad we won a game because it would have been so embarrassing if we don't get three points in this game. I just wanted to win and just keep it moving because uh, we're not that down bad that I'm going to get gassed over a Sheffield United win. This needs to be the base that you build off. Now you go beat Newcastle. Now you go beat Wolves, Palace, Luton. Like I've been saying, we need to go unbeaten until we go to Anfield on deadline day. Until then, I need us to go unbeaten. So go and get me a run of wins because as soon as we get a run of wins, we are back in contention for the European spots. Then once we're back in contention there, we can move up. The race for Europe is never consistent. It's always just been a run of games. We can just never pull one out of our ass. So do it. Pause. That's it. But yeah, I'm just glad. I'm glad we won. I'm glad we won. I love Cole the fact Palmer. that we keep saying 
keeps saying like until Anfield, until Anfield. Lewis, I promise you that game's gonna end in a draw. I'll bet anything you want right now. We're drawing at Anfield, my brother. Tell you right. Hey, it is what it is. If we if we end up drawing, that's calm. So yeah, we already draw there anyway. anyway. It's pointless. You touched on it a little bit, Lewis. Cole Palmer. Um, he was cooking. Pause. Pause. Nah, that's, nah, man, that's not. All. You touched on it. <laughs> That's definitely a pause. Yeah, that's a pause, though. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. yeah, there you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, man. Yeah, that's a pause, though. Yeah, that's a pause, though. Yeah, hey, I hope someone in the chat is keeping count as well. Yeah, yeah I've I lost count. Yeah. yeah, 24. Fuck we're at 24. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no way we're at 24. We're about to have as many yeah, paused as Liverpool shots against United. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one shut you up, innit? Yeah, look at you now, blood. Yeah, yeah. yeah you look a wild lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Look at dog smack. Yeah. yeah, you look a bomber clad. Idia, idia. Hold that, blood. You understand? Happy but... noise, dance, but. <laughs> but Lewis, you touched on it a little bit. Pause. Um, Cole Palmer was cooking. Jackson getting his seventh goal of the season. Sterling. But um, Connor Gallagher. What's going on there? Is he leaving? Is he is he staying? Does he want to leave? Like he's just been given the armband. Obviously, Reese James as well. That situation. Some fans are saying sell him. Yeah, I'm I'm not there with selling Reese James. Yeah, and I understand people who are sick of the injuries and everything. I want to hear what the spec what the specialists are saying about him. If he needs to go take knee surgery or not, and then maybe we can assess things from there. Right now, it's too speculative. But I'm not there with James on Gallagher. Nothing has really, really changed in the last four months. It's just people are crying about it a bit too much now. Oh, we might be trying to sell Gallagher in January. The, the guy has 18 months left on his contract, first and foremost. Second of all, he's improved a bit. Like, the bar's gone from here to here. Okay, <laughs> whatever that means. But, like, no. he's still not I just good said enough. that he took, I said he took one step on the staircase, blood. Yeah, th that's it. Like, congratulations, you showed me a little bit more technical ability. But, but like, no, if I get 55, 60 million for him, he's gone. Like, if we're crying so much about, oh, we need Lavia, oh, we need Nkuku back in the team. Well, who is being dropped? It's Conor Gallagher. So if he's a I squad player for us when we're in 10th place, what am I looking at when we're going for a title potentially in two years? He's not going to be in that squad. So you give me 55, 60 million for a guy who hasn't re-signed yet, has 18 months left on his contract, might have raised his transfer value a little bit. I am taking it. I'm taking it and I am running. Just because you're an academy graduate doesn't mean you have to stay here. Like, I oh, even looked at some of the top six teams and their youth players. You have Saka, who's like the only main starter from your academy. The rest are all bench. And Ketia, Smith Rowe, you'd get rid of them if you had Reed the opportunity Nelson. to. Liverpool, they have Trent. The rest is depth players. Jones, Elliot, Vajetic, Kelleher. United, Minos had a good two games. The rest are all mid. All of them. City is just Foden, Betts gets into the team here or there. Rico Lewis gets into the team here or there. Oscar Bob. So why am I meant to care about some academy player? You either are at a good enough level or you're not. And Gallagher is not. He's not. Like, you've had a nice little purple patch and everything. I feel like you've reverted back to type since then. Get me the 55, 60 million. Peace. Thank you for the memories. I can't believe these Gallagher will sell Gallagher. Can I just say one thing about Gallagher? He's been their best player. Let, let, let me just say yeah, that. Yeah, he's been one of your best. So him, Sterling, Palmer, and again with Gallagher yeah, being one of your better players, that's why they're in terms. That's why they're Gallagher players. has been mid against Villa, against Bournemouth, against Burnley, Brentford, Newcastle, Brighton, Sheffield United. But people are going to tell me he's our player of the season. Nope. Okay, can I, I just want to say one thing. Gal Lewis is one hundred percent right about Gallagher. I actually defended Gallagher because I felt like he was too harsh on him. I still think he's too harsh, but. He's also right in, in what he's saying right now. Look, Gallagher <laughs> is a serviceable, okay, good Premier League midfielder. He's not trash. He's not ass. He's just good. Would he improve Brighton? Yes. Would he improve the mid-table clubs? Of course. Because he, he serves a tactical he serves a tactical role. Even Lewis himself, he doesn't like Gallagher. He'll tell you. If it's against a City or a Liverpool or an Arsenal, Gallagher will do a job for you. Like, yeah. you know, so the only way I see maybe Gallagher staying in that Chelsea team uh, you know, going forward is maybe like you need someone tactically to run around, to, to to have high work rate and shit, defend against an arsenal, against the big clubs. Fair. Like if you want to do that, fair. But I think if he has value right now, you'd sell him and you'd send him to, to a mid-table club. He would definitely improve Brighton. He would definitely improve these clubs. And actually, I have an unpopular opinion. 
he might not start for them, but as a tactical weapon for Unai Emery, he could even work at Villa because Unai Emery is very defensive. So as a tactical weapon against the bigger clubs in bigger games, he would definitely work over there. So, yeah. I was so fair on Gallagher there. Noted, but here's yeah, the thing I agree with all of that. Here, here the thing is with that, though, what you mentioned in regards to him being a serviceable player at mid-table club. Yes, but on the flip side, that is not Chelsea's aim. You don't spend a billion to be competing for mid-table or to be competing for top six or top four. I say this all the time. Our four clubs, wherever they're at in the table, we spend to go and compete and win the Premier League, to go and compete and win in the Champions League. And Gallagher's just not that guy. Do I think Gallagher's good enough to play in the Premier League? Yeah, he's a, he's a good enough player. But, but where Chelsea are trying to go to? Absolutely not. Yeah, he don't he's far off it. He's nope. a good squad player. And that's why yeah. he's criticised. That's just you know it. In big games, if he's a squad player, you're happy to get rid of him because he ain't he ain't that. Yes, deep. you know you know why you know why you're happy because yeah. squad players are easy to you can minus goalkeepers, the number two goalkeeper, you can get rid of squad players and replace them. Sure, I'll you do any I'm sort of data pressure. analysis. I can find some brazy presser and just sign him for yes. twenty million and be fine. Fucking sold one us to us for sixty million. Take him back. No, no, we're good, man. Million. We're trying to sell he's the next that. one off. He's that. that we are road runner farm over here. Yeah, so the road just... <laughs> 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 hey, if Chilwell don't improve, you're next. So if oh, Chilwell don't improve, hey, you need to keep <laughs> homegrown in, in your mind as well, Lewis. Remember, I'll just upgrade some academy player, yeah. It'll all them common graduates they got, they'll be all right, yeah. Some, some, uh, they've committed. got hella graduates, Loki. They have like 500, 500 graduates at that they'll club as well. But, uh, it is what it is, man. Before we move on to the other fixtures, blood. Let's just fly through these. That one we got to bring up again, blood. You understand? <laughs> we got Wagwan. We got Lewis. Talk about ice cold Palmer. Bro, he's that. just brilliant, man. Even if he was a bit quiet in the first half, woke up and came to life in the second. Key part of both goals. We need to be, be building the team around him. He is that guy. Big up to Man City. You lot sold the wrong Cob um, not Cobham City <laughs> youth project. See, I'm now ready to We're Halen. You lot are Cobham. United of Carrington, Liverpool mm. and Millwood. What city? See, we just don't care. I don't even know what it's called. What is their academy called? Abu Dhabi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> it's oh, called the God. Elite Squad. The Elite Squad? Yeah, I think that's... Yeah, that's, that's, some, yeah, that's, that's, that's some YouTube team. Nah, Elite yeah, Squad. That's yes, bro. Elite what Squad. is that? That's not like like development a, squad. Yeah, it sounds like like. Hey, that's MC. not gonna stick. That's how you know. That's one like, yes for away from me. Bro. Crazy. Elite no, development no. squad. Man said the EDS. Yeah, that's hey, that's awful. Awesome. That's that stock port. <laughs> yeah, serious. <laughs> that sounds like an MCU spinoff. That's what that sounds like on Disney Plus. The Elite Squad. That's what that sounds like. Yeah, that's, no, no, that's no, no, no problem. Oh. That's that's not gonna stick. Some oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't? Yeah. Oh, where yeah. you? Yeah, hey, hey, squad, no one your academy, the elite squad. Fuck off, yeah. you cringy cunts. No way, blood. We got Todd Miller. He says, idiot settings with me. Porto, not Jose. Oh, so he's talking about, obviously, we, we've been drawing against Porto. Um, go watch the reaction video. Uh, watching Chelsea has made my brain mush. My trolling is off. Nice to see Lewis at the top. Big up, my guy. Big up, Dwayne. Ethiopian Carto Banks. Gassed to be top row. It's mad that I watched that preview and now I'm doing a show like eight years later with them both. I uh, still There's can't shake that nickname hey. off. <laughs> I know, man. Yeah, you will never. Yeah, that's one of them. That's <laughs> going to stick, Lewis. No, I like, think I think that was probably the first video I ever watched, Lewis. Of you, is like that's definitely one of them, and that one's. No, that's you're the. Yeah, same I swear, well, bang! Right? I was like, raw. I really slapped yeah. like. And that. now look where that's we are, Hassan, man. You know what I'm saying. It's not even them. <laughs> yeah, facts, man. You know what I'm we just the, we just the second round. That's all it is. Ah, we just the second round. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, pause, pause, oh. pause, pause. Whoa. Pause. pause. Yeah, yeah. Oy, oy. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo. Him, hey, yeah. Like, you know what I should have said second. He, only goes, yeah. he does that thing when he goes, if, if you don't go why, he goes. <laughs> hey, yo. Yeah, it was wild, people. That was wild. Second round. Second If If we lose. And if not when, just sing backwards again. Ole, ole. 
backwards. Oh, again, that's the chant we're doing in the first half. Backwards again, backwards again. Backwards again, ole ole. Well, because you know we're playing the ball back. Is that how bad it yeah, was? Yeah, yeah. I was chanting there, Matthew Harding. <laughs> that's crazy. So, well, I, yeah, cause, what, was that in the vlog? Because I watched the vlog yet. No, no, I didn't capture it in the vlog. Me and my mate were just joking with each okay, other. I was, yeah, I watched, Football I was just that dead. Jesus. Just seen another backwards pass to the centre back. Jesus. We got Todd Miller again, blood. Lewis, what's our chances on? <laughs> uh, yeah, Todd used to troll me about signing Rice the whole for like the last two years because I said I didn't want him. Yeah, but hey, what can I say though? We're good. We're just going to run through the other fixtures for the people then real quick, blood. Man City 2. Crystal Palace 2. Can I Man talk City. about this one, please? please now we can, bro. I was just going to intro it. I was going to intro it in. Man City 2-0 two. Two lead. But then... Mateta and Elise had other ideas. Phil Foden giving away the ball on halfway line, trying to make amends and then giving away a Stonewall penalty, in my opinion. Man City, they're not looking like the Man City they normally look like. You get me? Haaland injured. De Bruyne still out. They didn't lose, though. Carl Rodri was in the midfield. So if Rodri weren't there, they would have held an L. But Palace... Doing the unthinkable at the yet, yet again, blood. Yeah, that's just the, the, like you was mentioning Brighton's record at, Ars at Arsenal. That's Palace at sea. I'm not sure how many they, but they seem to just get wins there or or get results type of thing. I didn't watch their game, but shout out to Yan City because she was there and she was just like, we didn't take our chances. She was saying we should have been out of sight long, like in the first half before it got to that point, and that's what happens when you don't kill off teams. Who's and, yeah, Yan I seen City? the penny. It was Yan City? Do you don't know Yan? You never worked with us. See up, Yan. I'm sure you've worked with her. You'll know her. Are you talking about uh, Yannicka? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yannicka. Oh, I know her. Yeah, yeah. Big up, big yeah, up, Yann. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, I'm very disappointed in Man City. I came yeah. out of the yeah, ground here and it was 2-0 Man City. They were yeah. comfortable. Finished Back my fan camera here. It's 2-2. Disappointing, man. Yeah, you Disgusting. know what? I'm not going to lie. I It, it was 2-0. When, when, when they got the second, when Rico got his goal, um, his first goal for City in the Premier League, when he got that, I turned off the game, bro. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. I was about, I was gonna say on my nan's, on my nan's grave, bro. I turned off the game, bro. And then when do you know when I find out? Do you know when I found out it was 2 2? I've yeah. gone on Snapchat and then he's posted who sounds posted um Hamza the board professor, and then he's put the fucking the, the city um the 2 2, and then he put the fucking Jack the the the, the, the Kai Havertz thing. So I'm an, I'm an, uh, uh. Yeah. I was like, what 2 2? So I thought like I said I must be high blood. So I've gone onto the Premier League app and it said 2 2. I said, Pussy Clark. Crazy. Yeah, look. Is he, is he stressed? That's what he told me. I was like, oh. Oh, hey. that's when I found out. I didn't know. I thought I just thought they won. Yeah, first. First. Because I was doing you know, you know, you know, you know, a watch along and then someone said, Oh, yeah, Palace last minute penalty. And I was like, mm. Really? And then they ended up scoring. I was like, mm. Man. Yeah, I, I was doing a watch along and, and exactly what Troops uh, said was what happened to me. I was like, guys, if if I end the stream after Rico Lewis scored, I was like, guys, if I end the stream, I'm going to be upset. They're like, nah, it's okay. You can end the stream. They're like, end the stream, Dave. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going I'm, to I'm survive on hopium. I'm going to get a bit of hopium, you know? And, and hopium sometimes work. Bro, I just want to say something. You know, my problem is, as football fans, sometimes we don't keep the same energy. Kyle Walker got stripped. If this was strength, I yeah, that, you... yeah, the two one, he got bodied, blood. Thank you, ripped Thank the you. shreds, blood. I ain't seen him get ripped like that for for years. Yes, and that's that's exactly why I said that's exactly why I said Kyle Walker is not amazing defensively. It's just physical attributes. His it's pace covers him as well. Yeah, recovery that's it. Recovery pace. pace. If he didn't recovery. have no recovery pace, he's a he's a worse defensive right back than whichever example you want to use. He's worse than Dallow defensively. When I look at Kyle Walker, that game right there, he got absolutely stripped. Speaking of strippers, Diaz and Ake. Once again, that, fir that first Mateta goal, the defending from that goal was Shocking. pathetic. Mm -hmm. I, and, and what did I say before? I said this on Back Again podcast three weeks ago. Best two centre-backs in the league this season, Van Dijk, Saliba. It's not, it's not Diaz. Diaz is and not didn't even I say that our defense said. is I said our defense is better than City. And Badia Shield. Yeah, and even I agreed with that. Ake, Ake ever since that yeah, Kulisevsky header, he oh. just ain't been the same player. He really just ain't been the same player. My at all. And Loki, we're talking about bottle jobs and all this. Manchester City <laughs> were 1 0 up against Liverpool. They were up against Spurs twice. They were up 2 0 at home to Crystal Palace. 
they were up. There was another game, Chelsea. They were up three times and they ended up drawing all of these games. And this is why at the start of the season, when they went, oh, I, I was one of them. If probably you see, like, if you check, sorry to interject. If you see City's on. form right now, yeah, they've got one win in six games. In six? Yeah, it's not yes. good. Bro, that's yeah, not good. Has Pep ever had this bad run of form in his entire He's managerial career? He's had it once career? before in his career. I checked once before. Once before in his career. And, and, and you know what? It is true with this whole thing, right? When I said at the start of the season, City ain't winning the league, wasn't out of thin air. History tells us that after three in a row, it, it, it doesn't happen four in a row. But in England. Just just it's Pep, not... though, blood. Because it's Pep, you just think that he's going to be there with the yeah. whip pause. It'll happen. Yeah. Uh, uh, City are not you winning hope, the league. Yeah, you, you, say, you said that with, with, off camera. Yeah, he said no, he's 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 I think they'll, unfortunately, I think they'll do it. I can see it. they'll do certain. They'll put they'll because how far? What are they five points off the top of the league? Five. Yeah. So it's like yeah, we've it's been not, here before I'm, with Man City. I'm as crazy as it sounds. What you mentioned it's defensively when Man City. it's different, but what he said that last mentioned. season. No, but, but what you, you mentioned still, striker yeah, in there and it's going to be still, different. Then they just turn people, out. Now, nah, but people were still wary of City last year. Ain't nobody wary of them this year. Yeah, and that makes you know what? That makes them even more. I'm aware. The people are wary of Man City when they're facing next week. And that makes that if you had Man City the week after, you'd be wary of them. No, but I'm saying, like, with like last year, you was like, yo, Man City, they're capable of going on a run. I don't believe they're capable of going on the type of run that they've gone on in, pre in previous seasons now. I thought City would go for the fourth. I was saying they're going to do it, Pep's going to do it. But as the season goes on, I'm starting to see that they're not as good as they were, and the concentration is not at the highest level. And that's what's costing uh, them. They don't know, man. Have I've been here before with Man City. I, it's it's going to take a lot more to, for me to get at that point. They, if you they get to like 12 points like Liverpool did, where they just kept opening a gap and it kept getting bigger I can see that happening this year, Lewis Blunt. Enough. I can see that happening yeah, this if year, bro. If that happens, then I'm with you. But like, you ain't got to that point. It's like, what, five points in December? That's what, two defeats. But two last wins, year, yeah. I think last year we would have been clearer if there wasn't no World Cup, I think we win. I think we win the league if there's no World Cup. I think the World Cup fucked us. Hey, shout well. out the World Maybe. Cup, man. real ones. Man. Maybe you know I'm saying not only but this, City not only, are the constant. Not, you guys hey. haven't done it before. City not have only, come back from being behind how no, many times? We've come back and we've come back and won it, but not this time, did it. Like, but we've hey, done it. So, so not only yeah, did the players, these players, these man, yeah, yeah, yeah. So not only did the the World Cup consistently other than Saka, no one to be honest with you. But he's talking about the momentum. The momentum. No, no, I, yeah. I, I hear Jesus, what you say. Let me land. Let me land. Jesus got injured. Yeah. Okay. Jesus got injured. Um, I think Partey got a knock. Uh, Ben White Partey got a knock. So, so, so there was. No, so there was. Some... Ben White got dropped from um, England as well. Well, man. So there was that some. So shout out to the pandemic. There was some positives. Not only did it cost Arsenal the league, according to troops, which is beautiful. Liverpool also had to. Um, what's it called? <laughs> they also won the league in front of an empty stadium. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying, let's go, man. I'm saying some positives. You're a wallad. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wallad. That's why you're a wallad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wife is stating facts. Yeah, say not factuals. Yeah, you're an asshole. Why are you mad at? Why? Why, why do you get mad at me for stating the facts or something? Why? Why? Because you're a dickhead. Yeah, you're a dickhead. For stating facts. Yeah, you're a dickhead. Yeah, you are. You're not here to be a factual podcast now. No, go, go, facts go, don't matter. Go factual your link, blood. <laughs> Newcastle free, Fulham nil. Newcastle about to win in ways. Um, shout out, uh, Lewis Miley getting his first ever Premier League goal. Uh, he's been at Newcastle since seven years old as well, and he's only 17 right now. Good player, man. Old. Good player. Looking like a very good player, blood. You understand? Big him up, blood. Almiron and Dan Byrne getting the goals. Do you think they're... Just a quick one. Do you think they're... Um, Jimenez was sending off. I was on Akifema's podcast yesterday, and I said, Ak, I see you do that every week, bro. <laughs> Congrats and nothing would come of it. Hey. I think... Do you know what? Food with me, I think it was an orange. The thing is, like modern, so it's day not football, a yellow, it's but it's not a red, isn't it? Yeah, it, like modern day football, it Loki is a red, to be honest with you. But like the way that we watch football, like what we were growing up on and stuff, you're like, because we played football as well, we know sometimes shit like that happens. Like he would, he jumped clearly to try to win the ball. The problem is you can't judge via intent. But like for me, look, I wouldn't classify that as a red. But in modern football, it will always be, be, be given. Uh, what else we got? Brentford 1, Aston Villa 2. Lord have mercy. Now, two red this, cards. 
This game went off blood. I thought Emmy was going to kill Malpai. Then I thought the Brentford fans were going to rush Watkins. <laughs> then, I, then I thought the Brentford man then were going to fuck up. I thought it was going to be like, we don't, we don't agree with the violence, blood. We're not, we don't, we're like, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do the everything. I don't prefer the violence, but sometimes somebody needs a slap. You understand? And um, I thought it was going to go off, blood. You understand? I haven't seen scenes like that since probably um, last time I've seen them kind of scenes was Chelsea Tottenham when Hazard won Leicester the league. That's the last time I saw that kind of kerfuffle. That animosity between people. Yeah, yeah. Mm. It's, 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 it, it was it was very reminiscent of Arsenal Man United with Keane and Vieira, yeah, and, yeah. and 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 the big old for uh, the big two thousand and three Van Nistelrooy hold that you fucking prick. Hey, hey. Nah. that's that respect him, man. You know what I'm saying? More of that like Premier League winner, man. Yeah, fuck him, pussy. The guy's still scared Premier of League fucking winner. Vieira, blood. The guy still wakes up in the middle of the night going, ah, 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 and then his wife's going, babe, it's okay. Keon has retired. It's okay. Wait, did did he not help break the streak? Yeah, when Rooney dived. Yeah, he broke the streak. Fight. Yeah, he did. Burnley no nil. Again, Everton why we bad? Why why we bad at facts? He helped Burnley break the streak. Nil. That's Everton Brock Lesnar two. to the Undertaker. Hold that. You know what I'm saying? Everton broke the streak. Going, Everton going to Burnley and getting the win. Sean Dyche back. Sean Dyche right there. First time he's back at his old uh, old club. Um, Amadou Onana getting the goal. Um, that um, TV station who put up the picture of Andre Onana when Amadou Onana scored. <laughs> is that what they absolute did? Absolute fucking disgrace. Absolute yeah. disgrace, bro. They Onana is in a goalkeeper top, bro. How yeah, the fuck crazy. are you going to... That's crazy. They got to be doing this on purpose just to I'm get just like, typed in Onana. You know that meme when the little kids player. got like the pineapple and the KFC and he's like, that's yeah. racist. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, 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 yeah. That's, 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 that's racist. You know that meme, innit? That's yeah, know racist. That. <laughs> that shit is crazy. Yeah, blood. Real talk, blood. I'm there with my pineapple one hand. Or should I say my watermelon <laughs> one hand, my KFC in the other hand. Jamaican KFC as well, blood. Best in the world. Gang business. Um, <clears throat> Wolves free. Sorry, West Ham free. Wolves nil. Uh, Mohamed Kudos, blood. Yeah, again. Absolutely fantastic from the Ghanaian. For me, I'm going to ask you that quickly. Top three oh, signings to this uh, this season so far. For me, Kudos, Rice, Doku. What? No Madison? He's injured. So he's been injured. He was still performing at a high level. Look how long Surely he's been injured. Look how long he's been injured, bro. He hasn't how, many enough... games he... how many games has he played? Go Palmer in there. Surely he's, he's played out... 10. Bro, yeah, bro, he's been out for time. You can't bro. add any Chelsea player in there, Lewis. Have some shame and decorum. <laughs> <laughs> do you know me? After you, do you know me? Him. That is fact. Do you know Someone me? Pull out shame and decorum, bro. Bring up, bring up, bring up, bring up. Fucking guys, say though. And Nicholas Jackson, fifth highest goal scorer in the league, by the way. No one gives a fuck. No one gives a fuck. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, what goal against Man United for you? Number one, number one, Declan Rice, by far the signing of the season. I think number two is Madison. Despite see, Madison's played. He played. He played eleven games. Played eleven matches. Madison failed the Chelsea. Madison has to be in there. Madison's Madison deaf all there. He's just hating, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, Madison. Just Madison hating. definitely needs to be in there. Now, the third one is where you can have a conversation. To be honest with you, despite he played like shit last game, Sabah's line is definitely up there. Um, I look at uh, who else I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of uh, Oh Palmer. Um, hey, and, um, and we're talking freeze. Johnny Evans. Sorry, definitely. No, no. Who? who what's the name of the Spurs that? goalkeeper? The Spurs oh, goalkeeper. Vicario. Oh, yeah, he's, he's, he, he, him. Vicario. Him. Vicario's played well. He's been very good. Vicario, Vicario Madison, Madison, Rice. That's my three. Look at this Tottenham. You want to cuss him about loving Tottenham? You're the Tottenham lover, you dickhead. This Why are you Bro, dickhead? I'm saying signing of the season. What right. do I like? Look at this Tottenham guy, man. Oh, 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 pause. What's wrong with you? Don't even uh, try to Tottenham don't guy, try. man. It was Spurs oh, Farmer. Huh? Um, we'll I realize this shit guy is like the big show. He just turns on people the whole time. <laughs> yeah. so I've been back again. I put the rock, rice bro. One. I'm the rock, bro. I put you can't rice me, number man. one, you fraud. I put Declan Rice guy. number one. I'm the rock. Madison is better than Rice. Hold that. Happy now? Oh, Rice. Up, exactly. See for that foolishness. <laughs> you see for that foolishness, blood. That's what hey, hey, hey. Just to clarify. Ten second time out. You lot, you lot call me a Spurs fan. You hear what he said? Just to clarify that again. See what it is. Mm, mm. <laughs> yeah, I put Rice number one. I looked at the rest of the signings. I said Thomas has Spurs, a shout. Man. None of this frauds signings have a shout. So who we have? Hey, hey, respect Cole Palmer and Jackson. Yeah, hey, Johnny Evans, Cole. man. I'm telling you right now. 
quality when it's with Anfield. Hey, hey, in sheep. terms of price tag, low key, you could even put him up there because it's. Johnny Evans, he was a freak. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Top, top quality centre backs. He's been top five this season. Big game, hey. Johnny, man. You know, these Chelsea fans in the chat respect Jackson. Goals. Shut the fuck up, bro. My guy, man. Jonathan no, man. Jackson's top five goal scorers. Is he top five? No, <laughs> top eight. Top eight. He's top ten goal scorers. That's my guy. He's top eight. You want to me, you top eight, you know. I like my guy. <laughs> and that's mad. He's top eight, but your, but your team is ninth. <laughs> no, your team's tenth, isn't it? Yeah, like, ten ten minutes. Minutes. Man, I cling it on. You know, bro, bro, how many you know, times you know, have we said table height in 2023? What are we up. doing, man? Lewis is Let's get like to 2020, 2024 and before we do this table talk. Who's ninth? Who's, Who's ninth? ninth? I don't know. I don't look at the table. West Ham, I think. Oh. West Ham? West Ham. It would be Everton would be higher if they didn't have that 10 point deduction. Again, would just be, yeah, Everton would be yeah. ninth if they never had the 10 point deduction. Crazy. Oh, well, and, they got to hold that, innit? it? Mm. And then finally, we're going to end finally with them pussies. Well, we're not going to end with them, but we're going to end with them on the weekend on the weekend fixtures. Nottingham Forest nil, Tottenham 2. Obviously, Tottenham kicking off the weekend, Friday night football. Uh, Kulisevsky cooking, that pigeon-looking motherfucker. Get himself another goal, blood. He's starting to cook. Um, hopefully, he gets cooked like a pigeon. Um, Basuma. More goals than Martinelli. Where are you in the I'm league? I'm just saying... I'm just saying. Told you, that's the Spurs, that's the Spurs in him coming out. See, with Charles. Oh, no, this is also a reminder that Nick has more goals than the Spurs. I'm just devil. saying, why by the devil? You hyping you up Spurs, Madison, Van der Ven said with Charles. Did this. you beat Man United? No, you know what it says? You wanted to. Say flawless, that did you beat Man United? Not flawless, sorry. Who's Sam? Did you beat Man United? say that yourself, flawless. But now, because I said it, you're trying to get Troops is talking to you. Did you beat Man United? Sam, Troops is talking to you. Did you beat Man United? Listen, he has more goals than Diaz as well. Yes. He's cooking. <laughs> okay, oh, now looking. Did, did you beat Man United? <laughs> no. Okay. Did you beat Newcastle? Okay. Carry on. Are we top? Okay. Did Carry you beat on. Aston Villa? Okay. Are Thank we top? Carry on. Okay. Yeah. Where are you? Yeah. Hold hey, that. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next <laughs> Hold week. Hold that. You must. Yeah. See you next week. See you and next fuck week. you, Lewis, blood. Yeah. Furthermore, blood. Yeah. See, we are Fight for what? We out here, for man. What? Let's go. We out here. We out here. Hey, Lewis, for you meet again. Lewis, I'm I'm out out here, no, so you let me down, down bro. There's no reason Hold why that. he's there. Hold that. There's no man. reason why he's hey, there. Like I said, put your put your clean sheets at Anfield with Johnny Evans at the back. You know what I'm saying? On the table. Uh, we will next and go. You know I'm saying? Clean sheet settings. Why is Lewis ignoring me, you fraud? He did. There you go. There you go. But what what, what do you not think of this Basuma guy? He's gonna have a four game ban now. That's two red cards this season. He's too. He actually tried to complain. Like this guy. I I, I I ain't gonna lie. It's four match, four game ban. The the me being cynical, I said yeah, man just wear Christmas and New Year off. That's how I looked at it. You think it was real? Because you see when Neymar, yeah. you see when it's, yeah. see when it's Neymar's sister's birthday. Yeah, yeah man. Because because you know who used to do that all the, you know who used to do that all the time. All the uh, fans will know this. Kevin Nolan. I think yeah, it was like did. four or five seasons in a row where he yeah. would miss. Christmas, Christmas Boxing Day and that Boxing, New Year's and, and, man, New Year. like, and then he'll be like, back on FA Cup weekend yeah facts I just looked at it like that when someone said four match ban I was like four game ban I was like maybe he just wants Christmas off that's just me being like, they're all though. booing you in the chat for this by the way <laughs> Kevin Are Nolan's they? the guy who used to do the All chicken. All booing you in the chat right? for this. This is a disgrace. Um, he did it. He might have. Oh my it. guys, no, West, West Ham go. Newcastle, right? Yes, he Ooh. was at West Ham. He was at Bolton as well. Yes. Lewis is a dickhead. That was sweet. Wait, the guy wasn't the guy at. Go do the Jackson Davies? man. Oh nah, Kevin God. Nolan, both of them were. Kevin Davies was at Bolton, so was Kevin Nolan. Yeah. He was yeah, there. Yeah. Too. Davis like was the striker. Five, Nolan was the yeah, midfielder. He used to do the flipping chicken thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He scored. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he, he played. He, did he play in the Newcastle four four Arsenal game? Yeah, Not he did. Even he was, yeah, he was ca- nah, he was captain. RIP Czech Tayote as well. Who got the yeah, RIP Czech Tayote, man? That was a banging goal. Yeah, remember the, the commentary? Boom, boom, check, check the room. I still remember that. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was the commentary. I swear. You know what? Because the man has because he's left us. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be the bigger person. Yeah, it was just funny the way he's just said. <laughs> R.I.P. to him, but R.I.P. Check to Yoli for real. Banging gold, like I said. Fucking hilarious, blood. Yeah. We've got Carabao <laughs> Cup this week. Um, Hussam, you entertain West Ham at home. Um, are you going for this trophy? 
Oh, we're in the fucking quarter final. What do you think we we'll lose on purpose? Of course, I'm going. No, for but it. are you like because you're like, you have, like, no, no, because what I'm saying is like, let's be real, bro. You have um, you have us next week, blood. You get me? So that's why I'm asking the question, blood, because I want to know like, are you not going to rest players or are you going to take this cup seriously? I mean, no, I mean, Arsenal like, are not that guy. It's not Man City for me to rest players. Um, I'm just, just kidding. I'm just kidding. Of course, we have to rest players. But the thing is, it's about what Klopp wants to do against Arsenal. Because tactically, we have to switch things up from what we did. The, the, we, our game is not Sunday. It's Saturday, right? Our game, yeah, it's Saturday. We have to, we have to so definitely it's change. Wednesday, it's Saturday. Yeah, it's 5.30, yeah. you know? Yeah. Oh, Thank man. God it's not 12.30 kickoff. Anyway, we have to change tactically what we did. But I do expect us to rest a couple of players. But the thing is, the squad is yeah, paper thin right now. Even Gravenberg is injured and shit. So we have to we have to rest players. But I still think we have enough to beat West Ham. And David I Moyes... Think rest everyone. Real bad. Play the whole C team. Play the whole C team, man. You don't the need West this competition. You got your own, bro. You're beating in Newcastle to begin with. Relax. Hey, hey, we will see, bro. We'll see. We've got back-to-back -back home wins. We're about to make that a free, Pete. Prediction, who's on? <laughs> One nil Liverpool. Man, them two one West Ham. I'm with Lewis. Where, wait, where is it at? Is it at West Ham? Anfield, but I think Liverpool will rest players because they got us and they don't want to. They don't want to draw to United that piss poor United, respectfully flawless, and then lose or draw to us. Yeah, I still think they'll have enough to get past West Ham. Unfortunately, I say two one Liverpool. Lewis, you have a home tie as well. Um, you take on Newcastle. Very, very difficult game. Um, you lot will definitely take this seriously. Uh, this is probably your your best chance at winning a trophy. FA Cup will be a lot more difficult car. Everyone's in that mm -hmm. right now. You've got to kind of if you if you if you get Liverpool in the final, anything can happen. You get me semi final. I think you're fucked if you get them still. But um, Newcastle will take this seriously as well. They got to the final last year, lost to United two 0 knocked out United in um, the last round of life, flawless. Yeah. Or the round before. It was last Being round. Three nil. Yeah, last three nil at, yeah. yeah, at OT, Joe Willett, Masterclass. What are you telling me? We both got a lot of injuries, so the injury excuse is dead. Just go and produce the best performance you can and get me a result. You can play the most shameless football in existence, drag it to penalties and win that way if you want. But with their injuries, we should be able to give them a good game. And we should be able to at least take the advantage with it being at home and everything. But it is must win for Newcastle. They're going to play their strongest 11. They're not going to rotate. It is their best opportunity at our trophy as well. So I'm not going to underestimate that. It's going to be a difficult game. But we must. So go there and win. I don't care how you do. I don't care how disgusting it looks. Get me a 1-0 and just win the game. Prediction, man, then? Newcastle 1-0. Flawless. Ah. What do you say? Say that again. Prediction. Prediction, Prediction Newcastle, Chelsea, Newcastle, Chelsea. Newcastle, Chelsea. Is that St. James' way, Park? You guys know I was making Chelsea, stuff. Chelsea, yeah. St. James' Park. Yeah. Wait, where's it at the bridge? Or is it at no, no, it's, it's at the bridge. Is that at the bridge? Yeah, still, no. I still think Newcastle do the business. Newcastle 2 1. I'm going to. Yeah. He gave Newcastle the W anyway. Look at this. Game. I'm going 2 1. He was just going to pick how bad the loss was going to be. Was it 2 1 or 5 1? Yeah, Newcastle 2 1. Yeah. Like, even though I just, I'm sorry, I just don't rate Chelsea. Like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you as well. I'm going I don't to... blame you. You watched us at your ground yeah. the week. Mm -hmm. I watched it. I even watched it. I did the watch along for you versus Sheffield United, and I was like, yeah, these men are bad. Mm. Yeah. Like, these men <laughs> yeah are I'm going 2 1. Um, yeah, 2 1 Newcastle. Oh, uh, God, be with us. Let me just get quick predictions from the man then for the other two games. Everton, mm -hmm. Fulham. Everton on great form. Fulham was on good Fulham form went. until Newcastle. I'm, I'm saying Everton 2 0 and I'm Everton to win the trophy as well, man. Sean Dash, let's go. Fulham. I'm going to go 1 0. What's up, man? Why are you screwing your face, man? Someone got to bring the, some trophies to Merseyside. You know, I you know. I know the thing you talking about. I know the thing you talking about. Hey, who won the trophy more recently out of us two? Us. We were, I won a Community put, Shield. Put your. Oh, yeah. We can't Shields now. Oh, wow. I wonder if hey, I wonder I'm if gonna say is hey. say that, like, the community well, shows like Emirates, this bro. frying pan. Yeah, man, facts. You know what I'm saying? Flex you can't even win a frying pan, blood. The most successful club in England. I, I don't want a frying pan. I want something with handles. I would love to win a frying pan, blood. I want a cup. I want something with handles on it. A frying pan. Hey, look, I got, I got two empty bottles for you, blood. Get me. <laughs> right, is that for your Premier League and your Champions League? 
Oh, <laughs> I hate Lewis, you know. I hate Lewis. Lewis don't man. miss. Lewis, Lewis don't miss. miss. Yeah. Why do? Why do you think like UCL and your own Yo, bro? Why? Why, bro, you, think I, why, why you think I don't bad. be not taking shots at Lewis, man? Lewis don't miss. That's 100%. what I'm saying. You might have been good and everything, but put trophies on the table, and then I'll listen. Lewis no, don't no miss. way he's giving you Spurs energy. Don't have a troops. Now, nah, but we've well, won, nah, don't we, be we, Spurs. Now, nah, nah, we're not Spurs though. We won a trophy this, 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 this decade, bro. 2020, rude boy. Janus, blood clot. Yeah, we yeah, want to okay, trophy. Okay, you got one trophy. Let's go. Levels up. Yeah. You feel me? So, but still win more. Win something major. Something major. Tottenham have a oh one of fucking... God. Blood, listen, your temp. Low it. Like, yeah. Hey, a table hype in 2023, man. We'll go 2024. Wait and you'll be temp again, blood. <laughs> God forbid. Nah. Inshallah. God willing. <laughs> you understand? And then the Inshallah final game, me. Port Vale taking on Borough. Jesus Christ. So what do you want from me? You no, no, I, I, I don't know either if anything about so either. Port Vale's League One, Borough's yeah. Championship. But I'm right, going well, Port, I, Port Vale at home. I'm going Port Vale. Wait, yeah, Bro, is, Port Car- is Carrick still there? Nah. Has he gone? Nah, I had some watch. You left middles, bro. Yeah, I, I heard he was playing good football. Though. I'm surprised. Yeah, I heard he was playing good football as well. Yeah, he's still there. He's still there. He's still there. Still there. Still there. I'm going. Yeah, Borough I'm going. Borough two, two, I'm going yeah, Borough two nil. Apologies, he's still there. Yeah, I'm going Port Vale, and I need to Port Vale in the next round as well. Oh, you need a favorable draw, Hassan. Hmm. Yeah. For, yeah. Fact. Absolutely. I need a fucking favorable draw. Smart man. Leave me alone. Yeah, you man, go rotate. You got bigger competitions. Lewis, you're not winning it because we're in it. Just sit on the floor, man. Uh, we we will see. Well, if we buck you in the semi-finals, it's long. No, if you buck us in the final, we'll win on penalties. That's just what will happen again. Nah, man. Third time lucky. We got this. Yeah. Final sure. super chats of the show, blood. Big up Staffy, my brother, my Brooklyn G. Shout out, Staffy. He says, like Messi once said, dance now. Big up Eli. <laughs> Why am I, I a crook, yo? <laughs> Why am Shout out Eli. <laughs> That's my guy. You crook. Laugh my ass. Why am I a Yeah, crook, and your own guy is calling you a crook because you're a crook. crook. Why am I a crook? Eli, big up. J- jump on pro clubs if you're about, but big up. Who's some? Shout what? out Jason, firstly. <laughs> big up Jason. Who's some? <laughs> you giving Arsenal three, four, and five this weekend? Nah, nope. I don't think we scored as many against Arsenal. As many? So they fit no score. All right. Uh, there you are. There you are. You think you're going to keep clean shit? Anfield? Say it publicly right now. I dare you. Say it. Big up Fats. There you are. There you are. I can't even say it. Hey, I'm just saying, hey, I'm just saying, hey, people, putting clean sheets on at Anfield on the table this season. That's all. We got facts as well, blood. He says, troops send to the bottom row and flawless <laughs> top row. Never gonna happen, blood. Big, big up, big up, yeah. big up. Never send them two pounds to put troops bottom row at the end of the street. <laughs> Guys, he tried, man. He took a long shot from 40 yards and went over the bar, man. The only thing worse than Shabba Sly's shot yesterday, Loki. You did a Shabba Sly, man. You did a Shabba Sly. Oh, that was worse. Thanks. But that is all we have time for. Yeah, Troops private chat, I beg. I just see it now. I'm doing it now. I appreciate it, love, man. As he's he's doing it, guys, just so you know, I don't make shit up. You get me? Listen. What is it? Reckless? No. Nah, Sarcasm City TV Gaming. If you type it in the search bar on the right, and uh, channel, no, 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 Sarcasm City TV gaming It's the gaming channel. If you type that in, the oh, show, Premier League know. game with 17. No, 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 EAFC no, 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 it's a different channel. It's not Sarcasm City TV, it's oh, Sarcasm shit. City TV gaming. Yeah, 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 different uh, channel. Send them the link, send them the link, flawless. All right, yeah, yeah, I'm dropping the link now. Send them yeah. the link and he'll uh, just copy paste the link. Yeah, 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 give me a sec. Give me one yeah. sec. Wait, now. did you guys hear the clip I just played? No, uh, while he's doing watch. that, you man, hit that like button. Run up, I haven't seen the likes, but I know there isn't enough. One sec, I'll drop it in the nice. private chat now. Um, yeah, he did just copy-paste it. I think you guys can hear this now. What the hell is that? Was See? That? He actually said it. I didn't make it up. No. We, we, we just yeah, Troops just dropped crazy. in the private chat now, fam. I give up. Uh, let me... Wait, the no guy space. really said, boom, boom, check, check the room. I promise you. I'm not even lying. Yeah, we oh, the comments. But I'm looking yeah. in my phone, man. I thought you sent it in the... Um... <laughs> Oh, you need it in the phone. Join in the phone. All right, no, no, no. I, I can do it from here. No, I oh, can you do, do it from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, because I thought you sent it to my phone. I look at my phone. I was oh, like, nigga, you ain't sent me shit. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Private Where channel. do I put that in? Videos or search for other channels? 
customization for customization studio customization redirect add just copy paste the link it will give you the video directly i don't even know you could do it that way there you are see for some it's used very useful plus facts man you are that's why you're here 100 thank you thank you thank facts you. man thank you. see i give you compliments and credit where it's deserved and just dues but it's 100%. not coming up pause if not try it in the search for other search for other channels try it there that's what i did and it didn't pop up either with that. If you just type it's in cool. Sarcasm it's CTV Game, it should pop up. Even that I put in your channel never came up. Yeah, no, because it's never sub to it. Have you subbed to it? Got the gaming one. Yeah, yeah, sub to the gaming right. channel. That's that's the thing. Sub yeah, to if it, you sub to it, it, if you sub to it, refresh. Man. Refresh. Yeah. Appreciate then it. Then it work. And right, yo, everyone who's locked in, run up the likes. Like the man them said, man, hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button as well, man. Hit the notification bell. I don't know what astronomical number troops is on to, but yo, get him to whatever. The I'm next chasing down 300k. I'm on two. I'm on two hundred ninety-five thousand. But we're okay. running down. We're, chasing down. we're running down three hundred k. Let's get him to three hundred k, expert. Three hundred k party is gonna be lit. Yeah, we're gonna yes. fucking turn up, lad. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred percent. All right, so I've subscribed, yeah. Yeah, then refresh your YouTube no, studio. Because the man them already there, probably getting me cancelled, but we move. You know what I'm saying? Me blood clot. If not, if it's not working, just drop it. I love the fact that you said I'm cancelled before I even got into the fucking stream. He Facts, I know what them are there. I like it. I just said that in the party to them, mate. You lot, we're going to go live. Don't get me cancelled. But, you know, they probably will. If we don't pop up, we'll just drop it in the chat. It's calm. One sec. Yeah, yeah no worries, gonna... no worries. Is. And that being said, salute to all of you lot, because we went past 9K on Sarcasm City TV, the main channel. So big up to you lot, man. Real ones. I was saying this podcast has helped a lot. Roll to 10K on there. So yeah, big up, man. Make sure you subscribe to both, though. Sarcasm City TV and Sarcasm City TV Gaming, as well as This Is Football. Also, Carefree Lewis G as well. Also, right here on Troops TV, Back Again Podcast. Like I say, this podcast I get asked about every day. Every set, have you recorded it? I, when is, is it out? The video Are you going live? As well, go subscribe to everyone on the stream. Go subscribe to Sarcasm City TV. Help get, we need Flawless on 10K. We need Sarcasm City EA TV. Sports game FC Pro one. Clubs. Yes, that's yeah, 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 yeah. There you are. Bless, I will advice. actually be in that chat as well because, once again, I don't hate Flawless. I'm actually watching his content. I'm always he there does. supporting you. Yeah, yeah so. I always blow his nose, blood, man. Dead. Yeah, yeah, 100%. I appreciate you. Yeah. You know what? I appreciate you. I appreciate Broke you three because you might always pull up to the chat all the time. Come you know what I'm man. saying? So I do. Man, I, I love on, for that. Man, I, man, I true supporters, bro. You hear me? We nah, ride, out for I appreciate the, ride out for our brothers, blood. You get me? Nah, I appreciate that. So you tonight, me and Lewis are going to be on another stream. A-listers as well. Cooking the bald fraud. Is that tonight Jackson. as well? Yeah, 11. 11. A-listers. Oh, lit, yep. lit, 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 lit. So look out. Right. So you get me. Go Sarcasm Gaming until 11 and then pull up to Hussam yes. and then go check Lewis and them for A-listers. So everyone that's here, blood. You all last time you all went to um flawless stream last time as well, blood. Yes, you did. I saw yes. the chat was popping from early. Yo, it was, yeah, yeah, from early. That's why I appreciate so, the, the the redirects, man. For real, me. I genuinely man mean them. That. Same again, ladies. Same again, blood. You understand? Yeah. Subscribe to the man them. You know the vibe. Yeah, what? Whoa, we got one more before we go, blood. One more came in, blood. Pause. Man said, hurry up before I say something wild. <laughs> Jason says, as many. As if you scored any yesterday. <laughs> He's talking about the Arsenal Liverpool game. Big and then Jason. Winter Surfer says one more. Hurry up there. before I say <laughs> something. Wild, yeah, you see it I'm there, saying. blood. This man trying to get me cancelled before yeah, I said he's man on some crazy <laughs> shit, blood. Big up everyone <laughs> who sent a super chat in, bro. Like real yeah. talk, blood. The the love is fucking immense, bro. Like these men are the ones that told me to do this live, blood. Like I was always like, nah, I'm a pre-recording that troops. Trust me, go live, blood. Like the fans always, the supporters always want this live, blood. So. You get me, but I want to pick up the man them as well for, for, for believing in the show going live. You get me? Because I know that it bangs on pre-record, but looks like it bangs even more on live, blood. You understand? So big up every single one of you, blood. You understand? Make sure you go over to Sarcasm City Gaming Channel and tune in with the man them, blood. We'll be in the chat, blood. You understand? Then 11 o'clock, A-listers. This is football. You get me? Subscribe to all the man them. We're all chasing milestones. So subscribe to all of us, blood. You lot stay safe. And wash them fucking hands, blood.